Funky time! time folks we did it we did it again how did we make it to monkey time yet again been so long since I last streamed five days I think because I've been hard at work this week on the new monkey box video I said on Twitter you know what gonna take a little vacation from streaming we're gonna work on the monkey box video and that's what we're doing, folks. That's what we're doing. Should be out sometime. <laughs> Should be out sometime. Tonight, we're going to hang out with the chat for, I guess, exactly one hour. And then at midnight Eastern time, an hour from right now, we're going to do the Captain Marvel episode of Is It Kino? Will it be Kino, folks? What do you think? What do you think Erich will say? What do you think Florian Himsel will say? <laughs> These are the questions. What are the answers? What are the answers to questions? What are the questions to answers I seek? What will they clarify? Help me out. This means nothing to me. Thank you, Tomas. I'm trying to find the Rusty Cage music. Where did I hide it? Oof, where did I hide that Rusty Cage background music? Paul Boy Man, thank you. Welcome aboard. Mm, where could it be? Where could it be? Ooh, I don't know. Oops. <laughs> Should have, uh... Monkey PLS mod me. Also, please release all your short films. Why is the text so tiny on that? Did you do that, Animated Demon? What the fuck? I think you did that. Uh, what was the question about the short films? The The winner of the short film contest will be announced this weekend, folks. So this is your last chance to go vote for your favorites. You better get on that. ASAP. Please re release all your... Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the short film contest. I don't know where I saved the background music for my streams. <laughs> Oops. Is it this one? Could it be? Nope. Is it this one? Nope. This one? Mm, let's try this one. Hello, everybody. Nope, Welcome. that's just me. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> Professional streamer. Uh, is it this one? Welcome, no, that's just Boomer versus Zoom. Okay, never mind. No background music. <laughs> nothing. It's okay, we got time. Yeah, we have we have nothing but time. Nothing but time. Denz, welcome back to the uh what monkey Roger army, is that what we call it? Are there any videos you wish you'd done differently from Coolman23? Well, it's a tough question to answer when you're absolutely flawless in every way. I don't usually make mistakes. I don't usually upload videos that are not up to my uh, standard of monkey quality. But I'm sure over the last three years there are some videos that could have been better. It's literally called background music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rusty's background music is just called Rusty Cage background music. But I made a special file for it so it would just play for an hour and I don't know where I left it. <laughs> No, nope, that's just me again. I think uh, maybe I'll just have to. Yeah, let's just pull it up the old-fashioned way and only have it for five minutes at a time. Here we go. If it'll play. Yeah, I'm a Mary Sue. I'm the Mary Sue of the MCU, the Monkey Cinematic Universe. There we go. There's some subtle background music for you. 
Yeah, we should just listen to Brad Dassey for an hour. That'd be nice. Reminisce on my 24 hours of suffering. Um, if you guys are interested, I've been doing a lot of Lunchables reviews during these streams, and I, I bought a new Lunchable I've never had before. This is an, uh, Lunchables Uploaded. Somebody told me I should get a Lunchables Uploaded. This is some crazy shit. It's a turkey and cheddar six-inch sub sandwich. This is Subway sandwich quality, folks. Can you believe it? It comes with a spring water, six-inch sub bun, Oscar Meyer, in all caps, are very proud of the Oscar Meyer. Lean turkey, white breast meat only. Craft cheddar. Pasteurized prepared cheese product. Pringles, you get sides with this bad boy? Are you kidding me? Pringles snack stacks. Original potato crisps. Craft fat free mayo, fat free. Come on, come on, we could use some fat. Hershey's Kisses, ooh. Yeah. Give me a kiss, Hershey. And Kool-Aid Tropical Punch Singles. Oh, I get it. You don't actually get a spring water. It's to make Kool-Aid. Hell yeah. Tried the one where it's chicken nuggets on pizza. Are you fucking kidding me, Patchy's GF? That can't be real. Crisps, yeah, this is a British Lunchable, isn't it? That's disgusting. Let's see this bad boy's stats, okay. 440 calories, that's quite a bit, considering I just had dinner. <laughs> Seven grams of saturated fat, 35% of your daily value. So I guess that'll put me up to about 400% for the day. Tomas, why are you making your shit so fucking small? Is that me or you? I know I didn't change it. I can't even read that. Uh, 660 milligrams of sodium. Happy now everybody's- Happy International Women's Day, you cute little lesbian. I hope, uh, was that a message to yourself? <laughs> How did, why is the text so small? Okay, let's see if we can fix this bad boy. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. I can't find my music. My shit's fucked up. My Lunchable, uh, is, uh, British. Nothing is going right. What is a boy to do? Other than listen to some Rusty Cage music. All right, why is the text so small? Let's take a look-see here. Sound volume. Okay, okay. Font size 12. Um, okay, let's make that bad boy, what, uh, size 24? I don't know why it's so tiny. What is it, my penis? Steven's penis? Pringles don't have enough potato to be legally called chips. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Could that be? All right, I'm not even hungry, but let's bust this bad boy open. We got to review a Lunchable while we're waiting for E-Rich. I think E-Rich is watching the film right now. Make it size 50 font. Well, if sheep over insists, I mean, you got to do what the lady says on National Women's Day. There you go. Here, here's size 48. The State of the Union stream was surprisingly one of the best streams I ever attended. I hope you review more political stuff. Well, you got you got about two years of high-quality politics coming straight at you. Here's what it looks like when you open it up from the front. Nibble, why am I still not mod? Also, what's up with all this NPC shit with the Captain Marvel film? Shout out to my boy <laughs> Destiny13777. <laughs> uh, thank you, Animated Demon. You're not a mod because you're not trustworthy. <laughs> you you know you're a snake in the grass just waiting to bite me and poison me. You're an evil man, but you're just so gosh darn cute. All right, let's uh, let's investigate. Gold Rex King, welcome back. You got your Kool-Aid pouch. Let's go ahead and mix that bad boy up. Oh, this really is an uploaded Lunchable. Okay, here's the ice cold water. Here's five dollars. I want you to slurp down the fat-free mayo like a go girl. I, I didn't agree to that. You can't just come up with agreements and pay me for them. That's fucking bullshit. That was- I did that in the Wheel of Punishment. I just ate a mayo. And I played it up for laughs. Can we ban Animated Demon just to bully him? Yeah, that's a great idea. He loves being bullied. He doesn't freak out at all. All right. Should have made me uh, drink the Kool-Aid uh, powder. 
the powder is making it overflow. Not a good design. Too much water in there, I think. All right. Here's where you get some shake and bake action, folks. It's going to probably spill all over me. How do I make this song repeat on its own? Good question. Yeah, I'm shaking it, bitch. There you go. High quality Kool-Aid. You know, I'll give them I'll give the mayo a little bit of a yeah, I don't I really don't want to. <laughs> Why would you make me do this? Oh yeah, where is Jumpkey? Good question. I think I, I had him propped up on the table for the monkey box video. I was filming some stuff yesterday for it. You hate how the powder always gets on the rim of the bottle. Oh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh no, it was surprisingly uh, it did well. It did okay. Yeah, slurp it. I'm not watching this on YouTube. I'm listening to a downloaded version, but I guess I could just go to the YouTube one. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, all I did was uh, this McElroy guy who has, like, the ultimate soy boy profile picture tweeted about how much he loves Captain Marvel, so I thought it'd be just a fun tweet to just tweet a picture of his tweet next to a picture of his profile picture and it got a lot of people really upset <laughs> and the tweet also went semi-viral with uh, 5,000 likes on it so I'm pretty happy with that tweet people are uh, projecting a lot of um, their own uh, I guess insecurities onto the tweet saying oh why are you making fun of him he just liked a movie and I'm thinking make fun of him I didn't even say anything I just posted his profile picture next to his tweet if you think that's mocking him, that says a lot more about how he looks than about me. What are you fucking talking about? It's not my fault this guy who you uh, worship as a podcast hero is a living, breathing stereotype of a soy boy cuck. That's his fault. I'm just observing it. Me holding up a mirror to your universe doesn't make me the bad guy, you pathetic fucks. Maybe he shouldn't look like that. Maybe. If, if it's really that big of a problem, I think it's his fault. I didn't say a damn thing. Anyway. Here's a, the Pringles. Can I slurp down the Pringles instead of slurping down the mayo? I really don't want to do that. Oh boy, I've never seen this in a Lunchables. Look at, look at this fancy deli turkey meat. And the standard cheese you get in all the Lunchables. He sucked his way into the industry. What have you done? Despite being the only 13% of the population, <laughs> Tigger commits 50% violent crime in the Thousand Acre Woods. It's much funnier when you hear the robot say it. <laughs> uh, I need to get a, some sort of... Oh, and they just have two loose Hershey's Kisses rolling around in the box. Delightful. Great. Uh, I need some sort of plate. I guess this will have to do. This lunch is boogie? What the fuck are you talking about, sheep? If you don't do it, he will refund the money. Yeah, I'm gonna get charged back. All right, you guys, you guys ever been to Subway? Let's make a goddamn sub. Where the fuck is Jumpkey? Uh, he said he'll only come in for a $1 million donation. <laughs> He's really greedy this week. All right, we've got some refrigerated bread. Let's crack this bad boy open. It's like a Ew, okay. Don't you, don't you hate that shit when it doesn't unfold properly and now it's all fucked up? I really do need a plate. I'm gonna get breadcrumbs all over. Sheep, bring me a, a plate from downstairs if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> this is gonna... My, my poor keyboard is already covered in breadcrumbs. Disgusting. I'm your Tigger. Thank you so much. Tigger is my favorite character in Winnie the Pooh. I don't remember any of his catchphrases. I just remember he has a kick-ass name. Yeah, it looks like a hot dog bun, but it's a... Uh, I guess it's a sub bun. All right, let's open up this goddamn Go-Gurt. Ready to get some of that cream out there, baby? Oh, it's plate time. Yeah, just throw it at me. Ah, ew. It just falls apart. From the very start, it falls apart. Seems like everything I touch falls apart. Everything around me falls apart when I walk away from you. 
gonna say the T word. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know about this one, boys. I don't know about this one. It's fat-free mayo, too. It's not even enjoyable. <laughs> At least it landed in my mouth. It's not bad. Yeah, that's a... Uh, uh, whatever that fucking band is called reference. Okay, let's put this mayo on the sub. Uh, what's that? Total... Death Punch? What's the Thousand Death Punch? What's the name of that band I was just doing a song from? I think it's like a Christian band. I think I heard that song at church. This is the worst sandwich tutorial ever. Well, it's International Women's Day. I thought to celebrate, we I would make the sandwich today. I thought that would be appropriate. Gotta wash the taste of horse come out of my mouth. Hi, Mother Butterfly. You know you bunnies dealing with cracker. Butterfly, you think you as nibba. We getting shit out here popping lead in crackers like you. Pew pew. Shout out to my gingerly at home chip. Better be beer in the fridge bunnies. I think you have too much disposable income, animated demon. <laughs> Look at all this cheese to go on one sandwich. So many little slices. Let's lay these bad boys on here. If I was a little kid in elementary school and this was my lunch that my mom packed, by the time I finished putting all this shit together, it would be time to go out to recess. I wouldn't even have a chance to eat it. It's way too much effort. Great. Now I've got mustard on my carpet. <laughs> or, I mean, mayonnaise. Here we go. Yeah, this, uh kind of gross and slimy turkey on here, but what's a boy supposed to do? The killer in me is the killer in you. What's a boy supposed to do? Am I right, boys? What is a boy supposed to do? Now I need a napkin. All right, here's what we got so far. We got a bunch of gross cheese slices and a bunch of gross turkey slices on really hard broken bread let's combine those bad boys together there you go you have the perfect six inch turkey sub it's perfect and as if that wasn't enough you get pringles you got kisses and i'm gonna go get a napkin I'm all out of napkins in my bathroom. Sheep over. <laughs> it's time to come back. <laughs> it's International Women's Day, sheep. Bring me up a, bring me up a napkin. <laughs> you gotta pay the troll toll to get in. You want the little boy's soul? You gotta pay the troll to. Let's see if its bark is worse than its bite. Let's. See. Here comes sheep. I can hear. Yeah, I've got a... Uh, in my bathroom, I have a microwave and a whole uh, paper towel dispenser. I've got the whole nine yards, folks. I never have to leave my room slash bathroom. I can live here. These two rooms right here are bigger than a New York apartment. In celebration of International Woman Day, I will send women in the chat my feet pics as opposed to the other way around. Any takers? Oh, Dan Schneider, how kind of you. I think any woman in the chat would love that if you can just post an Imgur link so they can all easily access it. Let's uh, let's give this disgusting looking sandwich a... Uh, I don't like that the this hot dog bun fell off. Brie Larson feet pics? She doesn't have that great of feet, does she? Is the meat even real? I doubt it. Yeah, it's a bread review. <laughs> Brie Larson's feet are so ugly. Well, she has foot fungus. Multiple people said that at the same time. <laughs> Could it be true? That's disgusting. 
Ladies, you were so worried about getting makeup on your face and making sure that your bra makes your tits look good. You had no idea all along all these men were going to harshly judge you for your fucking feet. You never stood a chance. Thank God we're not doing the Izakino review until midnight so that Women Day will be over. So we don't have to pretend to uh, like the movie just because it's about a woman. Because I assume that's what we would have done. Oh, look, a piece of cheese fell off. Great. It's like a sloppy joe and it's just a deli sandwich. Men have gross feet too? How about you go fuck yourself? My feet are delightful. I'm not clicking on a link called wikifeet.com. Ew. Oh, if you want me to show my feet, you gotta earn it, my friend. You gotta earn that shit. I, I ain't a I ain't a cheap whore. You gotta you gotta pay up. Her feet are gross. She got dirt in them. E. Rich will call the movie Brave, Outstanding, and the most important movie of the decade. How can that be when Black Panther came out? How much for feet cam? I don't know. What do you think is fair? <laughs> Tomas wants in on the on the foot game too. This is really, really not good. Do you like your Hispanic audience? Yeah, I think my Hispanic audience is my favorite of the audience. They're always saying ja, ja, ja in the chat. They've probably got some hot sisters. It's all good. Mention of Florian, I said hi. Don't you guys have a date? Brie Larson calls Black Panther the N-word in Endgame? Is that how they defeat Thanos with the N-word? If I was smart, I would show one toe. I'd have to put on one of my socks that has a big hole in it, which is most of them. Appease the Hispanic audience with the eating a side of hot Cheetos. I've got hot Cheetos downstairs, actually, so that is a possibility. <laughs> Gracias, señor Mano Jonas. También te quiero. Oh, I love you too. You're a, how kind of you, Yudo Yudo. Or as an Englishman would call it, Yudo squared, of course. Okay, let's move on to some of these Pringles. I'm gonna give that sandwich a, a minute to uh, ruminate in my in my stomach. Elmona Jones says suck his own cut. Well, that wasn't totally Spanish, was it? <laughs> I think that changed a little bit. Was it or was it not? An injustice of what that fiend Brandon Ocampo did to me by banning me? Question mark. Well, monkey, I did nothing wrong that Frucker banned me. Fruck him. Hash justice for demon in chat and shout out to Skumky in S-H-E-E-P-O-V-E-R. Skumky, we know you're like a 13-year-old kid. How do you have, or not, whoever the fuck. Did I say Skumky? Demon, we know you're a child. How do you have so much money to waste on stupid streams? What is your problem? And by problem, I mean, where do you have this money, and why are you wasting it? Mom's credit card? Yeah, does she know where her money is disappearing to? Alright, boys. Gotta be honest, the best part of this Lunchables uploaded so far is the Kool-Aid. <laughs> uh, not impressed with the other aspects whatsoever. Nope. Not even slurping up that mayonnaise was very good, believe it or not. That actually, that might not be the way you're supposed to eat it, because that actually was not very good. Hmm. 
Imagine if Demon was Baron Trump. Uh, that would probably change my life forever. I would uh, make sure he invites me over to his birthday party and we would have a great time. I would love to hang out with Baron Trump. Tomas, your girlfriend says hi. <laughs> Monkey drank the cool lady's about to give Captain Marvel a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, I could get Asterios to send me a photo of his feet right now. One second. I'm going to call him. No, I'm on stream. Yeah, somebody uh, donated a dollar forty-one for me to ask you if you would post a picture of your feet. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I mean you've posted full-body nudes before with only a wad of cash covering your <laughs> nether regions. I don't know why you would be uh, so afraid to post your feet. What kind of work does he have to put in to earn it from you? Uh-huh. So you want him to go through your to go through your 10-year internet catalog and find a video already posted of your feet. He doesn't deserve new feet. No, they can't. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he'll ever find it. Are you are you sure that there's just random videos with your feet out there right now? Okay. Okay. I don't know. This guy Grass Cutter just donated a dollar and said, "Do it, you fucking boomer." <laughs> okay. Asterio says, "Asterios, everybody is is saying the thrill of the hunt is what will make you get off. So if you go search for his feet uh, photos rather than just getting them for free." then uh, it'll make you come even harder is what Asterios is getting at. Is that right? Okay, yeah. Okay. So next time I'm in New York and I see you, I should just secretly snap a photo of your feet and post it. <laughs> see ya. Wow. <laughs> I didn't think we would get uh, rejected so quick. We might have another Elliot Rogers situation on our hands with all this rejection, folks. What is a man to do? Never thought this day would come. Guys, I didn't do absolute shit for the GF this women's day. Oh, fuck. It's not going to read the rest of it? It just stopped reading it. What the fuck? Never seen that before. But he said he's only 15. How? Then how are you paying for this shit? Mom's credit card. It must be. Let's read the rest of that. Oh, yeah, I'm 15. You frucker. Try harder next time. Ja, 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 XD, Lamau. Great. <laughs> Scammed. <laughs> yeah, it was my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I thought Asterios' feet would be easy, but he's just not playing ball. He wants you to go find him. Yeah, for once, Asterios is the one cucking us. Creeper, welcome aboard. 
Your hair is fucking greasy. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a greaser. I'm a newsy. Open the gates and seize the day. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Nothing will make us give our rights away. Arise and seize the day. Call Dick Masterson and ask him for feet pics. I don't have his phone number. I really don't. Newsies is overrated garbage. I don't think I've ever seen it. I just know the song. There's a gif of Asterios' feet in the chat. What? You gotta be kidding me. How did somebody find this so quick? Oh yeah, when he when he's boxing that guy from the Donald subreddit, he's barefoot. There you go. Yeah. Good job, Carson. <laughs> Ten minutes of feet. <laughs> Perfect. We did it. Well, I'm not eating the rest of this sandwich. It sucks, dick. This is probably the worst women's day I've ever had. Because the sandwich sucked. I guess we'll just eat the chippies. <laughs> yeah, sheep. Nice link, you retard. <laughs> it doesn't... You can't even click on it. Stop spreading lies about me. I am a 69-year-old man. These are my life savings, and I have no use for them. <laughs> ja, 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 ja. Ah, I knew it was ja. T-S-M-H-L-O-L-J-K-J-K. See, you, you Spanish speakers thought it was ha ha ha, but the computer just proved it's ja ja ja. You guys have been wrong the whole time. What would Vincent the Atheist or Mike the Southerner say about Captain Marvel? I think Vincent the Atheist is far too intellectual to go see a Marvel movie. That's for bottom feeding scum. It's for the most uh, common denominator. Disgusting. Mike the Southerner. Well, it depends. Is he still stuck in his transgender body? Maybe he has been enlightened. Maybe, uh, maybe it's the best movie ever made. Ja, 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 ja. Is eating, uh, crunchy chips on stream a standard of Twitch? I don't watch very many Twitch streamers. Do most people just eat their dinner really loudly up in the mic? It's actually the terms of service. Oh, you're supposed to do it. <laughs> you have to do it or else you get banned. Even if it's a soft food, it instantly goes up 30 decibels. <laughs> yeah, eating is really loud. Well, let's clean all this shit off my desk. Gross. We'll keep the chippies for now. We will keep the Kool-Aid. And all this shit can go. So, final thoughts on the uploaded, up upgraded Lunchables Deli Sandwich Edition. No bueno! No Jaja from me, folks! Es no bueno! No gracias, mi amigo! No bueno. Probably my least favorite of the Lunchables we've tried so far. The crackers and cheese and turkey is a classic. That's good. The chicken nuggets were surprisingly edible. They were fine. This was the most expensive one I've had so far. And also just the most disappointing. I don't want to eat the pizza ones because I know that I hate them. But I think that's the next logical step is that they just keep getting worse and worse as I go on. So maybe next time I'll get like the chocolatey pizza one and it'll be horrible. How many pesos was, was the Lunchable? I think it was like four bucks. 
because it's a super upgraded, uploaded one. So it was just a horrible waste of time and money. <laughs> and I'm worse off for having eaten it. Let's see if I can fix the font size on the bits. What if Burger was the main villain Captain Marvel fought in the movie? He might have been! Spoiler alert! Come on, Princess Maria, you know damn well you've seen the movie. Don't spoil the ending. Hello. She fought back, though. <laughs> she fought back. <laughs> All right. Mm, font settings. There we go. Should be fixed. Do a Lunchables review like report of the week. Well, I'm your bestie, biggest fan, top artist, and you treat me like a child. Well, can we get a hash LGBTQ plus in chat and a shout out to my boy Fezziki? KY is Fezziki, you fucking loser. <laughs> I think it's funnier when you uh, you put extra letters into a cuss word so it doesn't get filtered out and you hear the robot say it. Yeah, shout out to my hashtag LGBTQ plus fans in the audience. I know we have at least one. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Your voice is heard. <laughs> There'll be no silencing of you on this platform. Here's a question for the chat. Are furries classified under the LGBTQ XLR plus uh, umbrella? Would a furry be one of the protected classes under that umbrella? Give me a yes or no in the chat. I can't wait to see. No? Yes? <laughs> Shut the fuck up from the furry. No, fuck them. Furries are gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quentin is right about me. They're classified under the autism spectrum. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Ask Boogie. Oh, I think he falls under it for different reasons. Are soy boys protected? God, I hope not. HD GIF of those feet. Let's take a look. Can't be reached. Failure. Are minions animals? Yeah, I think so. I think that counts. So I think what we've learned is that furries should not be a protected sexuality. Says the guy with the furry for his main mascot. Uh, I never had sex in the monkey mask, so I don't think I'm a furry. Being a furry, uh, society liver. You were just talking about how much you love Quentin reviews, and then you dropped something like that on me. How could you? What accounts for as little as 13%, but also as much as half? Uh, we just found out that that Winnie the Pooh's friend Tigger is only 13% of the animals in the forest, but he commits 50% of the crime, is what somebody told me. I don't know if that's true. It's been a while since I read Christopher Robin, but that might be true. I don't know. The, uh, the consensus is not in yet on that one. <laughs> Why are you posting that gift, Sharkin? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, I still, well, we're talking about Tigger here. <laughs> Monkey fucks sheeps equals furry confirmed. <laughs> I'm, I'm Tigger pilled. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the T word, it's not okay. Tigger is inherently more violent. He's just hopping around on his tail. It's like a pogo stick. What's so violent about that? 
<laughs> he stole rabbit's carrots. How come how come Tigger is a tiger, but they call him Tigger, but Rabbit is just a rabbit and they call him Rabbit? Why is his name like Rub Rubbabit? But why aren't they adding extra letters to all their name? Like Piglet is a piglet, Rabbit's a rabbit, but the tiger is Tigger? That's stupid. Oh god! <laughs> Mrs. K Kanga, get down! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Why would Mrs. Kanga be worried about the T word? <laughs> it's irrelevant to her. It doesn't affect her at all. <laughs> Rabbit and Owl are the only actual animals. The rest are toys, so have real names. Okay. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is that I'm the only one. That's, that's how his voice sounds, right? It's like some old lady doing the voice, isn't it? I can't do it. I'm not even going to try. I've said his name too many times. <laughs> Tigger is an ADHD furry. <laughs> I guess that's technically accurate. The mole, I don't remember that one. I just, re I remember Eeyore, Piglet, Tigger. I don't remember liking Pooh very much. Is Winnie the Pooh kind of like Mickey Mouse, where he's the mascot character, but also the least interesting one? And all the supporting characters, like Goofy and Donald, like they're all like the interesting characters, and the mascot one is just kind of lame and boring. Am I am I out of left field with this one? Seems right to me. The least interesting character is the owl, dude. I don't know. He has a pretty wicked throw in that baseball game, the Winnie the Pooh baseball game. The owl's not super easy to beat. Ask Ben Saint. Yeah, we should interview him. Put the mic a little closer to my face. It's Why pretty close. Why am I always rambling every donation message? Pizzagate was real. Shout out to the lovely people at home. Round of applause for you guys for watching and supporting us. Let's get a hashtag fruckfreeze in chat. Also fruckfeziki. What do you mean? Why are you saying us like you're part of the show? Who who said you were my co-host through text-to-speech animated demon? <laughs> this is bullshit You hated the gopher Do I really seem that quiet? It might just be that the music is too loud Because I'm uh, definitely loud enough But nobody ever gives me uh, an update on the audio quality. I just assume it's okay <laughs> It's supposed to be sheep's job, but can't expect a woman to do her job on International Women Day. Eating cheese pizza right now? Delicious. Put some corn on there to feel like you're living the Florian Himsel lifestyle. Let's see if Florian is here yet. Okay, I asked, are you fuckers almost ready? That should get a... A friendly response. <laughs> Call him Tigro? What does that mean? <laughs> Why would he be called that? His name's Tigger. <laughs> Why would we call him something else? That seems wrong. Captain Marvel's user score is over 50% now. Yeah, they're just deleting negative reviews. What are you going to do? Guess what? Alita Battle Angel. Similar movie with a female hero. User reviews? 90%! Why? Because that is a perfect film. There's no need to edit the user reviews. It's not a controversial movie. But there's a female hero. How could that be? It's almost like the actress who played Alita didn't go on a campaign saying... White men should not review this film. It's almost like they just had a female hero and didn't try to make it political. What? You mean the way to be treated equally in society is just to act fucking normal?
Ah, <laughs> oh, but no, every every white man on the internet is sexist. They don't want to see female heroes. They don't want to see a, a female-led movie. They they just forgot that Alita came out. They they forgot to bombard Alita's user score with low ratings. It's not because the movie was apolitical and also quite good. No. How could that be? It couldn't be. Impossible for you. And Alita looked fuckable. Good point. They gave Alita an ass. I guess the CGI budget was not high enough on this Marvel movie to give Brie Larson an ass. What are you going to do? When Spider-Man has a genuinely better ass, you know, you fucked up. How much money will it take to convert to Christianity? How much is my eternal salvation worth? Good question. That's a good question. I would love Star Trek Discovery strong female lead. I feel like I already watch a show with a strong female lead. I don't need to watch Star Trek Discovery. I have more ass than Brie Larson. I think I do, too. Okay, let's take a look at these tortured feet. That can't be real. Are you fucking kidding me? That's fake. That is disgusting. That's not fucking real. That's not fucking real. That picture? There's no- that's gotta be photoshopped for like a- one of those magazines at the grocery store checkout counter. That's disgusting. You're- you're- you're fucking with me. That's not fucking real. That's gotta be photoshopped at least a little bit. Why would she wear open-toed shoes? You were there? What, did you take the photo? <laughs> That's not even the worst picture. Are you kidding me? Is that why she couldn't run in the movie? She was like kind of casually jogging during these action scenes because her feet are fucked. Thanks for the support, guys. I'm always editing monkeys bits and he takes all the credit. <laughs> it's not fair. Hash justice for demon and shout out to monkey gore never using his goddamn discord server. <laughs> I use the server a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, Demon, speaking of which, have you finished editing the new Monkey Box movie yet? You're, uh, the only reason why it's not out is because you're taking so long on editing it. Since you're my official video editor and all, what's going on? Oh my god, another picture of her fucking feet. Now this. Uh... No, that one's not as bad as the other one. The first one I saw was the most horrendous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Hashtag justice for demon. When Wonder Woman movie came out in 2017 and became the first good female superhero movie? Uh, I guess. I thought it was a good movie, yeah. Wonder Woman's not bad. It's better than fucking Captain Marvel, but I guess we'll get into that in about 12 minutes when the boys get here. Demon is like Brad now. Who, Brad Dassey? He just keeps popping up. It's a disappointment when celebrities don't have cute feet. I don't get what's up with you foot people. That's even worse than the furries. How dare you post a picture of that man who worked so hard to get where he is. You don't know that's insulting my proje- Oh, yeah, he's still going off about the, uh, the Twitter. Uh, the, the the big tweet I had. Today's big tweet. Philip DeFranco has higher rated feet on wiki feet than Brie. Well, yeah, I, ex I would expect Brie Larson is near the bottom. They're horrendous. If you just have normal feet, yours are better than hers. I have a better ass and better feet than Brie Larson. And I'm probably a better actor. Well, at least I would have been a better Captain Marvel. She's really good in Room. Yeah, yeah, the, the the foot fetish people I think are worse than the furries, I, I gotta say. At least, like, a cat has a vagina. A foot has no vagina. I don't know if you guys have seen feet. They don't have a vagina. They don't have titties. Not even a dick. You could pretend that the toes are a dick. 
Well, that's a small dick. How full of soy will Everidge be during this review, and how based will Florian be? I'm on the edge of my seat, Gold Rex King. I have no idea. I'm uh, I'm anxiously anticipating both of their opinions on this one. Very excited. Fuck feet, armpits are where it's at, boys. I'll give you that one for free, baby. Hey. Ow, ow! No, neither one of them are ready yet. With ten minutes to go. How can you say anything is worse than furries? Uh, I mean, I just explained myself pretty well. Can't wait for base Florian. I don't know. Maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe Florian will love the movie. And Erich will be lukewarm on it. Who could say? Who really knows the truth? Truth lies in deception. Do you guys like what I'm doing with these kisses here? Hell yeah. Tell Emperor Lemon to fuck off with his fake tacos. <laughs> Is it only a taco if there's meat in it? Speaking of which, we're going to have new episodes of the Sodi podcast coming out, hopefully this weekend. I just, we recorded two of them, and I edited and uploaded them, so hopefully they drop them soon. Okay, Florian's ready. Let's get him in here. Susan here, show your feet and I'll give you back your channel. <laughs> Susan, why is your name horse? <laughs> you just horsing around? Mumkey edited them, they must suck. Oh yeah, somebody's uh, audio fucked up, so we had to use my Discord recording. So yeah, it doesn't sound that great. What the fuck is this hair that's just sticking up? Where's based Florian? Get in here, you degenerate! If you guys want to see feet, you're running out of time to pay for it properly, my friends. Because we're not doing that shit during Izakino. <laughs> we're not showing feet during Izakino. That's a it's a non-foot based show. I hate to say it, but it's true. I want President Trump to sign my Bible. I feel you. I wish he would sign my Bible. My Hebrew Bible. Hashtag, Israel did nothing wrong. You keep saying how much, I'm saying you gotta, you gotta put up or shut up. It's not for me to decide what my feet are worth, it's for you to decide. <laughs> okay, Erich says give me a minute, he just walked in the door. I'm waiting for Florian Erich, nobody cares about you! Are you uploading them to Vimeo and your website for now? You saw somebody uploading my videos to YouTube. It was probably that damn All Hail Chancellor Susan account. I don't know who that guy is, but he keeps posting videos that I made, even ones that are, like, brand new and exclusive. He keeps posting them. It's crazy. All Hail Chancellor Susan on YouTube. I don't know who that is. Oh, I've seen the Cat in the Hat movie. Of course it's Kino. That's Kino as shit. Uh, I'm not I'm not reaching down for that kiss I gave up. <laughs> you need feet? I don't I don't know, we're waiting. <laughs> Somebody's got to put up or shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Destiny. <laughs> $100 for toes <laughs> if you say so. Show me them toes, girl. Let me see them curl. Only the toes? Okay. We'll have to uh, reverse engineer this sock so that I only show my toes. <laughs> it's wearing a hijab. All right. Here's a here's toe reveal. Oh, man. Get a load of those toesies. Those toesies woesies over here. <laughs> They're in a sock hijab over here. No, you can't see the rest. I won't go to I won't go to heaven if you see the rest. There you go. Hope it's worth it. Band. Ah oh, shit. 
<laughs> oh, fuck. I don't want to get banned for my toesies. What did that one say? I missed it. Guy feet is disgusting. Also, I like how not even Boogie the Certified Cuck didn't like Captain Marvel. Hey, listen here. Look here, look, listen. My feet, I would argue, are better than Brie Larson's fucking feet. So, uh, take that for what you will. This chat is so anti-Semitic. Oh god, I leaked part of the foot, now it's worthless. It's like when, uh, Hunger Games' nudes got leaked, now she can't get any roles. We've already seen everything you have to offer! What feels bad, my feet? How lucky is she, Popper? She gets to give me a foot massage whenever I demand it. You guys wish you would have unlimited access to rubbing my feet. She gets that shit on the daily. I say, sheep, foot rub time! I don't care if it's International Women's Day. I don't care if it's your birthday. You rub those feet. All right. There. How did E-Bitch McSoy get here before Florian? That's a good question. Show sheep over his feet. That's a great suggestion. Sheep, get up here with those feet. Come on. This, guy, <laughs> this one guy demanded it. You have to do it. Oh, we man. all know that you're a slave to your audience. Hey, the whole gang's now here. Yay. Kino crew. Uh, Florian, did you just wake up? Yes, well, actually, a half an hour ago, but still. How am I still tired? I, I don't know. Well, you gotta eat some breakfast pizza with corn on it to wake up properly. <laughs> I know, right? Do they have they... breakfast not... pizza in Austria? <laughs> Well, they definitely don't deliver pizza in the morning. <laughs> not, not at 6 a.m.? No. That's too bad. Yeah, they, they stop at 3 a.m. Hmm. What time do they Terrible. start up again, 10? I don't actually know. It might be 11. You've never pushed the boundaries oh, no, of pizza I, delivery I guess I before? Do yeah, it's 11. <laughs> and then it takes 45 minutes to deliver, so it's basically noon. Oh, my God. You should order that shit at 10.15. Well, it won't happen. Now, Florian, this guy in the chat is confused. He thinks that I'm joking about pizza with corn on it. Would you like to clarify whether or not this is a joke? <laughs> pizza with corn is the best. You you don't know what, what you're doing with your pineapple on pizza. That's not a normal thing. Not everybody what? just puts pineapple on pizza here. It looks like corn what? is on every pizza in Austria. They just corn no, that shit isn't. up. It's pretty rare that I get corn. <laughs> the one time you've showed me your pizza, it had corn on it. Yeah. The only 100% of the pizzas I've seen from Austria had corn on them. Just well, fucking I mean, loose I... corn, like out of a can. <laughs> well, I get corn a lot, actually. I guess I, it's just not usual for most Austrians. So, Florian, yeah. explain this to me. When you order pizza, you yeah. just say, I want a pizza, and they give you a pizza with corn on it? Or do you say, give me a pizza, you know, Florian Himsel style, <laughs> and they just fucking... Whoa, don't dox him. Can. Don't dox they our friend. Fucking, they just fucking pop that open and then just, like, pour an entire can of corn right on your pizza. Like, how does that work? Well, they, they got this this pizza, and it's called Crazy Bacon. It's got corn on it already, but every other pizza place I have to now, customize why, it. Now, why does corn. the bacon pizza in particular come with fucking corn? That, those well, two no things don't go together. It's amazing. No, it's not amazing. It's a crime it's against a humanity. Shit. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when, when are we starting this? <laughs> uh... Probably soon. For some reason, when I turned down the volume of donations, it made the font size go back to two. I don't understand what Streamlabs is doing tonight. Wow. Iris, did you just get home from seeing the movie? Yes, I did. Uh, so you're you're fresh and so clean. I saw it from 8.40 to 10.40, and now I'm here. Uh, Florian, <laughs> what, when did you see this film? Well, before I went to bed, it was... Uh, so about like I, 10 I, hours I ago. I, I, I did turn the boys down, Sheep. Is it not down enough? How loud could they possibly <laughs> oh, be? Oh, shit. I turned them down a lot. Turn me down, I turned them down 10 decibels, Sheep. Is that good enough for you? Is that better? <laughs> All the donations? No, the sound of you guys. Too loud oh, really? still? Are you fucking sucking my cock? That cannot be true. I must be a loud boy.
Yeah, I think I sound fine. Yeah, we sound the same. What are you guys fucking smoking in that chat? This is this is madness. What are you listening to? Us. <laughs> what does it sound I had to like? see what what they were smoking in that chat. Oh, oh! Did you listen to the stream? Right, that's why there was some weird echo. Damn. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Is one of the two guys louder than the other ones? Because I can turn one of them know. down. I don't know. They said, Someone uh, gets to be turned down. Yeah, they said Eridge sounds good. So I think Florian might be the issue. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh. Like usual, Man. Florian's the issue. Ugh, fucking monkey. We need a final solution for Florian. Mm. Uh-oh. God damn it. Eridge, uh, T-minus how many hours before you have to go back to work? Uh, five. <laughs> you have work at 5 a.m. on a Saturday? Well, I gotta get up around five. Okay. All right. Is everybody's audio fine now, sheep? <laughs> Are we well, good? I didn't, I didn't sleep for five hours either. It's, why, why do I do this at this time? I don't know. Just seeking it fresh Cat Marvel mm -hmm. review stuff. Yeah, because gonna... everybody needs to hear our take on Captain Marvel within 24 hours of it coming out. Okay, it sounds like I know. They do. some people are saying <laughs> the audio is fine. Some people are saying it's not fine. Uh, what are you going to wow. do? Wow. Split decision. Yeah, split decision. All right, you guys, uh, guys want to get started on some Kino action then? Let's do it. All right, chat. Here's yeah. the deal. You know the deal. We're recording our podcast, which means we're going to ignore the chat until we're done recording it and then we'll come hang out with the chat or e rich will just go to bed <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go to bed right after this <laughs> yeah okay the audio is good you guys ready eat let's do it uh e rich is in a fucking hurry it's like he, he thinks something bad will happen <laughs> during this non-controversial <laughs> non-political episode wait wait of did you guys no. not see it <laughs> <laughs> what? It just sounds like you think we're gonna have some sort of uh, uh, me and Asperger ganging up on Eridge episode of Vigikino. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be three friends talking about the latest I, Marvel I, flick. I think there are gonna be some big twists in this episode. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It. Damn. Uh, shut, shut up. Let me start this thing. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to your favorite movie review podcast. That's right. Is it Kino? The one show on the internet where we watch new releases and let you know whether or not they are Kino. And folks, we've got this shit down to a science. We're always right every time, no matter what. I, of course, am your host, the biggest rival to uh, Travis McElroy. Is that his fucking name? Of yeah, all yeah, time. So. We, we have a brand new <laughs> podcast rivalry, folks. Uh, I am wow. Monkey Jones, joined as always by Florian Himsel. We're always right, even when we disagree. That's right. Yeah, that. All three of us are, are at the same time correct, even when yeah. the opinions conflict. And I like the Bible. <laughs> yes, th th this podcast is very similar to the Bible, I would say. And, and the heel of the show, everybody's enemy. We all, oh, I hate this guy. I want to get his goat. Ugh. E, e bitch McSoy. Heel turning into a baby face, just like the scrolls. That's right, me, the uh, secret good guy Spoiler. of the podcast. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Damn. Folks, e e Rich, uh, this is a, a very special episode because of you, so please let us all know what Wait. movie are we discussing today? <laughs> Wait, why Why is it extra special because of me? We're watching Captain Marvel. Uh, Marvel? Wait, 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 wait. Marvel? Time out. What movie are we? Uh -huh. what, what movie are we reviewing for this episode? <laughs> Captain Marvel. Oh god. god damn it. Oh, oh no. What's god. Happened? What's happened? What Guys, was going on? I think I fucked up. Oh you no. You said you said we have to Not watch Captain. You said Captain Marvel. I could have sworn you said we were going to watch a movie called First Reformed. That's what I watched for this podcast. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain Marvel. The I could be a week behind every week. <laughs> yeah, every week I'll watch what you guys watched last week. <laughs> yeah, right. This the is the twenty second film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is that inaccurate? Is it really twenty two movies? Shit. Is it twenty one or twenty two? I don't know. Let me look. But Captain Marvel, the very first female led superhero movie ever made, 
Florian, we're all dying to know, what did Erich think of this movie? <laughs> I want Florian oh. to answer. <laughs> Oh, I think he hated it. I think he's Whoa! a bad ally. I, I think he might even be an enemy in disguise. I heard something. Uh, typically, English. the term ally refers to like allies of the LGBT, uh, BT, BLT community. Do women fall under the LGBT community? Are they are they like a protected uh, sexual class now, or what? No, it's, a, it's allies of feminists. As, oh, as well, are, are oh. As allies. Right. See, I, I, I assumed we lived in an egalitarian world at this point because Captain Marvel, the film, exists. <laughs> so I, I figured feminism was no longer even necessary. <laughs> oh, that's it, huh? just, just Black Panda exists. So no Black Panda! <laughs> Black Panda. <laughs> oh, I love it when he says that. <laughs> People are on the edge of their seats, Erich. What did you think of Captain Mar Marvel? Um, I'm incredibly split on this movie because I, I have to No, no, to we didn't see the movie, movie split. That was from last year. We, uh, we watched right. Captain Marvel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, just because... They finally changed up the fucking Marvel uh, formula. They're finally not doing the same old bullshit that they always do. I assume you're talking but about I... previous films and not this one. <laughs> yeah, no, well, no, I mean, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm still talking about this one. Um, uh... But what Wait, happened no, was they, they, they are still doing the same old bullshit. What are you they talking changed about? changed it up, but they made it worse. Oh. Like, they're, they're telling the story in the wrong order completely. They're practically losing so many parts of what kind of makes these Marvel characters so great. And it's just muddy. The entire movie is muddy in general. No, that, that, was a, that scene took place in on. Wakanda, Erich. It was That wasn't mud. <laughs> that, that's very problematic what you just said, but go on. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I, I have only seen one movie that the, these directors have done before. It was called Mississippi Grind. It was very good. It was a Ryan Reynolds and... Uh, Ben Mendelsohn movie. Ben Mendelsohn is in this movie as Talos, I believe. Um, and those directors can't fucking make big budget action movies. I can't fucking tell what's going on in the action scenes in this movie. It's so fucking dark or cloudy or like they just don't want to show you the actual action. It is so hard to watch. I thought you would like that, like in your favorite movie, Batman no. v Superman. <laughs> no. And Aquaman as well. I, so, I guess no. they took a big, a big page from the DC book, huh? Well, okay, we, we've got Erich's opening thoughts. Florian, let's let's go around the horn. What are your generic opening thoughts on the film? Oh, I thought it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> now, now, see, when you say fine and Erich says split, I imagine your fine is like a 5 out of 10 and his split is like a 7 out of 10. Oh, no. <laughs> Would that be accurate? No, I think it was pretty good. I, I'm just, I guess I'm getting annoyed at these Marvel movies in general. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess it was, maybe it was worse than Ant Man, but it's better than Spider Man. Hmm. Wow. Whoa. Fired. What the fuck? Shit. You got, you got all of that backwards. What did, did Spider Man do to you? <laughs> yeah. I, t I already told you this. He never grows up, and when he when the fuck he actually grows up, it's just so he can die and be replaced by a black Spider Man. He, Spider Man he... is the internal infant. I'm so fucking. Are you sick talking of about the cartoon? Well, in general, yes. Spider Man ages backwards, and Aunt May is a milf. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. That's she just how these things work. Never be a milf. That that won't be allowed. No. Yeah, she already is, man. All right. Do you guys want to be the age that Spider-Man is now? Oh my god. <laughs> you guys ready to hear a real opinion on this film, uh, folks? No. You yeah, loved how, it. How didn't did you, you like you First this. Reformed? I can't wait to <laughs> find it out. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought that uh the the message about global warming was it was a little on the nose, but you know, a little bit preachy, but I mean mm. it is a film about a preacher after all. I mean, what else would you uh -huh. expect from uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm never going to see First Reformed. <laughs> 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 uh, folks, you can call me Mr. E. Rich McCoy because I'm no. going to say this movie came out at the wrong time, baby. <laughs> Captain Marvel came out at the wrong time. Let me tell you, this International movie. International Women's Day is yeah. the wrong time. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that was yes. that say? Damn. T yeah, well, yeah, I guess 10 minutes ago it was International <laughs> Women's Day. It should <laughs> have came out. And hear me out, folks. It should have been right before the first Avengers movie back in 2012 mm. because 
it feels like the phase one movies other than Iron Man, which is good. It's on the same level as like Thor uh, mm. in that it's completely average, dull, and I never need to watch it again. But I'm not upset that I watched it and it's not horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It pretty much follows the the same setup as Thor. You have about 15 minutes of this alien character on a space adventure that is really hard to follow and boring and dark and I don't even like Thor is fighting like frost giants with his group of friends who I don't know who they are and I don't care. Same thing happens in this mm-hmm. movie. Then the alien gets cast down to earth where they're the fish out of water and then the movie gets good and he he's he or she in this case makes friends with some earth people. Uh, lots of fish out of water. I'm a superhero in a normal human society. Jokes. I liked all of that. Blockbuster existed at a time. Yeah. <laughs> was Blockbuster in the original Thor movie? Yeah. Uh, was it really? Wow. I don't think so. Did no, it still it exist at that time? Or and was then, it already uh, being broken at that time? I, I think it was on its way out in, in 2012 <laughs> or whenever the fuck <laughs> we're talking about. Uh, and then uh, it ends with the character going back into space after having a big CGI battle. Whoop de doo. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thor and Thor two, not the not very great Marvel movies. But monkey, I would, I put this one on the same forward, thing. monkey, aren't you looking forward to seeing great character Jude Law as the villain in the next <laughs> Avengers movie? Uh, 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 <laughs> spoiler alert! But let me say. Let me, te- <laughs> let me tell you why I think positioning this film immediately before the original Avengers is perfect. Because, mm-hmm. and we know this from the post credit scene of Infinity War and in this movie, Nick Fury is given a special Captain Marvel pager, and she says, hey, mm-hmm. if you ever get it over your head and you need me, the most powerful hero who ever lived, I have Super Saiyan powers mixed with when Mario gets a, a star... <laughs> Uh, and he runs around mm-hmm. killing Goombas without even doing anything. Uh, if you ever are in dire straits, hit the button on this pager. I will come save the day. So mm-hmm. then we set that up right before the original Avengers movie. So then and we have no idea when she's going to show up again. So we're watching the Avengers. and We're like, oh, man, Loki, Loki's beating their asses and they're going to throw an atomic bomb at him. Oh, man, he's going to call Captain Marvel. But then he doesn't. Then we have Avengers 2 and Ultron is is killing everybody and going to drop a, an island onto the planet and cause a global extermination. We're thinking, oh, now now he's going to call Captain Marvel. But then he doesn't. And we're thinking, I well, want, they set this shit up I so long is, ago. What, what bad guy could possibly be cool and badass enough that Nick Fury is going to actually call Captain Marvel and not rely on these idiots? And so then when he finally does it at the end of Infinity War, we realize, wow, this is, these are the biggest stakes we've ever seen because he's finally mm-hmm. actually doing it. What, what I want to happen is that he's about to press the button and call her down to earth. And he's just always knocked out at the last second. <laughs> like <laughs> he gets hit by something and gets knocked out both in the both Avengers movies. Damn, maybe he should lose an eye each time that happens. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Nobody knows that Nick Fury's missing an eye. You guys, oh, just, damn. you guys keep spoiling everything. Oh, that's uh, such a heroic scene. <laughs> well, so those are my generic thoughts. Should we move into spoiler discussion, or do you guys have more generic thoughts we should tackle? My generic thought is that they really should have characterized Carol in this movie other than a scene where she gets up. Uh, that's about it. Like, <laughs> Multiple that's, scenes that's where it. she gets up. Yeah. Her, her whole character is that you knock her down, she gets knocked down. But she gets up again. Gonna You're up never going to keep her down. Keep her down. Yeah, that's her whole character in the movie. <laughs> her character is tub thumping. That is her character. It's just tub thumping. Is that the name of that band? <laughs> that's the name of that song. Oh. That can't be right. Tub thumping? No, I, it's right. That, that's no way. I get knocked down, but I get up and again. You're never going to keep me down. Okay, so Erid says that the only female hero in Marvel uh, has a bland Mary Sue personality. Great, Erid. Great uh, addition to the podcast. Well, I disagree. Whoa, what? <laughs> Florian. She, she, the, the way she starts out, she's basically an asshole, and she, she disagrees with the rules, and then she gets caught stupidly. So I, I was thinking, this is really weird. Does she, did they put a flaw in this female character? I'm going to get my panties in such a twist over this. Wow. Is this. Is this a movie about a woman learning her place for two hours? Whoa! <laughs> is it? But 
Well, it could be. I don't know. I don't want to get into spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Florian teases the main conflict of the movie is will Captain Marvel be put in her place or not? <laughs> the villain is, I guess, sexism. <laughs> I mean, it really is. There's there's a scene where a guy on a motorcycle asks her to smile more. <laughs> yeah, like all the people that saw the trailer, and then she steals his bike. Hey, the hero. spoilers! Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, that, that's a spoiler. Seemingly, we're all putting this movie in the mid-average to low range. Uh, so should we just jump into spoilers and talk about the whole shebang then? Sure. Okay. E. Rich, it seems like you're you're chomping at the bit here, champing at the bit. Champing, actually. Yeah, that's I'm what I said. I'm gonna champ at your fucking <laughs> cock. <laughs> Boy, is, is that what a shark does? Is that what, what champing is? Don't spoil the scene where the shark bites off Captain Marvel's <laughs> dick, dude. Come on. Oh no, no, that's how she became a woman. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> Everybody starts off male until a shark bites off their dick. <laughs> Usually in the womb. Oh, yeah. Wow, the womb shark. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the womb shark will come for us all. All right, <laughs> fuck. If you guys aren't gonna say it, I'll say it. The movie has the best opening of any Marvel movie because they took the standard Marvel intro and they put all these Stan Lee scenes in Stanley. it. Stan Lee, and uh, <laughs> it was the most touching emotional moment of the film. Which of the is, entire movie, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, that was really Well, great. I was hoping that the entire movie would be filled with Stan Lee's, but I was very well, disappointed. Stan Lee replaces every character like he did in the intro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then it says, uh, Hello, thank you, Stan. Hello, Stan Lee. But they had the, Captain the, Marvel himself. The, the thank you, Stan, was at the very beginning rather than the end. I thought that was great. They wanted mm -hmm. to get it out of the way early, I guess. They... <laughs> they know not everybody stays in the theater for the after credits. So yeah. they're just like, we'll put it in the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, a yeah. great opening. You've got me all all uh, primed and proper, ready to enjoy a good film. I'm in a good emotional state right now. I'm remembering my hero, Stan Lee, and all the great mm -hmm. things he did. Creator of Captain Marvel, Stan Lee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Feminist icon, Stan Lee. Oh, yeah. Uh, there, this movie has some... Very few implications in the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe, and really, that's the only reason why I wanted to see it, was to see how it ties into the rest. Uh, I don't need a new... Given we've just saw Infinity War, and after Endgame, I think I'm kind of done with Marvel movies, because I just want to see the end of this big arc. I wasn't really wow. in the market for another uh, uh, introductory story. What are those called with superheroes, E. Rich? Origin, origin story. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really need another origin story, and that's very much what this is. <laughs> yeah, so I, I never needed another origin story. No, like, but monkey, but monkey. Kevin Feige said there will be no origin stories in Phase Three. Now he's obviously a fucking liar because Doctor Strange is an origin story. Uh, I don't think Spider-Man: Homecoming is a origin story per se, but this is definitely an origin story. They just fucking cut it up and put the beginning parts in the middle of the movie instead of. At the beginning of the movie. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to do like a, a born supremacy thing where yeah. we, we get the beginning in the middle as the character remembers all their shit. But uh, mm -hmm. l l let's briefly talk about the ways this ties into the bigger cinematic universe. W the MacGuffin of the film, again, like in Captain America and in Avengers, is the Tesseract, which is, of course, the space infinity Cube. stone. Mm -hmm. Now... It's been a long time since I saw those Phase 1 movies. It's been a while. Yeah, since I saw <laughs> Captain America, <laughs> the first Avenger. Um, uh, thank you. Is, what band, uh -huh. is that Counting Crows? What band is that? No. Uh, who knows? Hoobastank. I think it was Hoobastank. <laughs> uh, uh, stain. Stain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I could have sworn Captain America, they're trying to get this Tesseract. The Nazi guy holds it, Red Skull, and then it sucks him into space to go guard the yeah. Soul Stone. And then it gets dropped down into something. The ocean. Yeah. I could have sworn that movie ended with Tony Stark's dad finding it. How yes, how it how in this movie does it end up in a spaceship in the mid nineties? Well, Shield <laughs> Shield takes it. Shield is probably trying to fuck with it. And then Shield is working with Pegasus, which is the other group in this. The Pegasus sisters, of course. The the girls who like My Little Pony. Right. And Marvel 
I guess gets access to it and does all the crazy shit she wants to do with it. I guess. Oh, because she's wor- yeah, she's working with Shield. That's right. Okay, okay, that clears up that because I was like, what the fuck is this thing doing in space when it was frozen with Captain America? I don't get it. Um, uh-huh. The other thing that ties into the overall universe is, of course, as Florian hinted at, uh, the origin story of Nick Fury losing his eyeball. <laughs> Now, you may remember a oh, no. great scene in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, where he tells Cap, Nick Fury, he, he says, The last time I trusted somebody on a mission, I lost an eye. So uh-huh. we, we have to assume this is some sort of <laughs> badass moment from his past. This movie actually shows us what happened. And I'm not yeah. sure, would you guys consider this a retcon or a poorly he placed the cat. joke? Or? Um, I think it's like the Joker's origin in The Dark Knight, where I think uh nick fury will just say random badass things to explain why he doesn't have an eye but he just got it scratched <laughs> out by a fucking cat alien okay oh uh, so he's just like a liar yeah yeah maybe well, it was a pretty intelligent and very dangerous cat i don't know you you, you seem to brush it off it seems like he, a cosmic horror took his eye <laughs> yeah he, he didn't even care mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah he did it's, it's almost like he's uh, seen 10 other movies with him with an eye patch, and he's like, ah, oh, no, this is going to happen. <laughs> it, was, it was meant to be. I think, I think somehow my theory is that, that Thanos altered the time somehow, and, and, and that's what, what made Captain Marvel exist. I think he somehow retconned her into all the scenes where, where she was an Avenger all along somehow. She's I, the original I, Avenger. She's the first Avenger. <laughs> Fuck you, Captain America. Oh, <laughs> even though she was in the, I guess, late 80s, and Captain America was fighting in well, World War II. Captain America <laughs> never called himself an Avenger yeah. Yeah. at that time. She yeah. is the first Avenger. Yeah, she had a, a, a thing that was called an Avenger. A, a spaceship? No, a, a jet plane. Yeah. <laughs> no, a spaceship. She is... <laughs> She's the original. Technically, we're always in space, Florian. All ships are spaceships. God damn it. The Earth is part of space. (laughs) No, it is. Wow, Wow. the Earth is part of space, you say. It is. Tell me more. Is Earth not in space? (laughs) It sure is. It sure is. (laughs) Yeah, don't give me that shit. All of the existence of the universe is in space. We want to go into space, guys. Let's do this. We're space already race. there. We're already there. <laughs> what a twist. I, hey, man. I disagree. I, exactly. I say that space is an actual space with nothing in it. Oh. I'm you. So, like E. Rich's soy That's filled brain. That's a vacuum, oh. Florian. You're thinking of a vacuum. Well, no, it's space. I don't think Florian space owns a vacuum. Space has tons he's, of shit in it. He's got pizza corn all over his carpet because he doesn't own a vacuum. <laughs> Great. Yeah, Walt has right, lots of stuff in it too. Let's talk about this fucking movie because so essentially we get introduced to these Skrull characters who are yeah. an alien species that is going up against the Kree, and the Kree essentially have this giant AI that uh, is everybody's boss, and ca- it takes the form of like your favorite person or some shit. And so, so for if, if Andrews, I talk to the AI, it would of course uh-huh. be E. Rich McCoy. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. I got it right. Yeah, you're um, my favorite person who I respect the most. So, so in these opening scenes, uh, oh god, I don't even fucking know his name. Jude Law is teasing <laughs> Captain Marvel and telling her Ooh. it's probably me, right? And then she's saying, "Oh no, it's me for you." Wh- whatever the fuck. Um, this is somehow a villain. Is this prime intelligence supposed to be a villain in this movie? I, I don't even know what this prime intelligence is supposed to be. What is it? What is this prime intelligence in relation to the guy with the hammer? Is is the guy with the hammer not the the leader of this? They're both Krees. The, the guy with the, the guy hammer, with the ha- I think, is an extremist terrorist. No, the the guy with the huh? hammer was uh, the villain in Guardians of the Galaxy One. That yes, was, he's oh, also a Cree. He's also a Cree monkey. Yeah, yeah. But, but is the AI a Cree? Monk Cree. It, yeah, it's their it's their it's their god. I don't know. Yeah, I don't the stream see... intelligence is their god. I, I kind of hope that the Kree and, and the whatever the aliens are, I hope we never see them again in any of these movies because I could not care less about any of them. Oh, monkey, I've got some bad news for you about the uh, the Marvel Cosmic Universe. Yeah, but, all but, about the but they flipped it on its head scrolls. because the scrolls are revealed to be the, uh, the Muslim refugees in the movie and that they're not actually uh-huh. villains. So, like, right, you can't right. even do your Secret Wars shit or the Invasion shit or whatever because they're not actually bad guys. They they fucked the comic fans out of their uh, potential narratives, E-Rich. 
I think that they can easily because like they're gonna do a both sides are evil in some way type thing. I think I think it's too late. Scrolls, I think that I think the scrolls are gone forever. I don't think we will ever the see them. The scrolls can decide they want to take over Earth because they need a home, and well, Earth they, is they're not gonna do backwards that. Enough. Why not? Captain Marvel because just took them right. to the other side of the universe for protection. I don't. We think don't they're know. Gonna... We don't know how she's doing out there. Mm. Dude, the, the, the green she guys can say basically... everything is shit. They're the most moral people in the universe. These green people. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> They're the only heroes we get in this show. When they so try also, to, they put in like a political message comparing these people to like Muslim refugees, refugees. and they say, mm -hmm. oh, your people are terrorists. No, we're refugees. I do not think they can come back and make them the villains ever. I think that ship has sailed. Are <laughs> you rich? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's no reason why they'd introduce them. And I think Foggy has actually said what? he wants to do Secret Invasion. I, I don't think they're going to do it. Well, it's not going to be them. Wait, the secret invasion with them? Hmm. Yeah, they disguise themselves as the other Avengers, I guess. And then they all wow. start fighting. I don't know. Monkey, sure they... they're going to fucking reveal that one of the Avengers has been a Skrull this entire no, time. No, they're fucking not. <laughs> It'll be the <laughs> end be of the Avengers movie. You'll think that everybody's retired, and then it turns out that Spider-Man is a Skrull. That can't or... be, because if if you, a Skrull gets hit too hard, they transform back into That's an alien. That's all this it? shit is, dude. That's all it is. I don't yeah. know when they fucking replace them, but at some point they're going to replace them. Mm, I don't think so. That is totally going to be the twist at the end of Endgame. You are crazy if you think that these in this movie, they compare the perceived all bad right. guys to Muslims, and then they t end up being the good guys. If you think they will come back as the bad guys, you're fucking crazy. All right, right now, $20 on the table. <laughs> $200, bitch. Put no, your money where your mouth is. I don't, I don't is. have $200 Yeah, of course you. you don't have um, fucking $200. Uh, man, man, this is crazy. Of, Fuck you, Florian. Thinks... Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why you mad at him? He didn't do anything. Scenes, after the after, one of the after credit scenes of Avengers Endgame will be one of the Avengers being a scroll. Oh my god, my you're Part so full of shit. Words. You're full so of shit. And stupid. It would be perfect. It Mark would... my words. How much you want to bet? It's not gonna happen. So I told you twenty fucking dollars. More than that. I want more money out of no. this because I know I'm gonna no. win. How often Give do you get to sit down at the roulette table and know for a fact it's gonna land on black? <laughs> I know. I, man, I, I don't have that much money. I'm I'm not fucking rich. Maybe I can crowdsource my fucking Yeah, bet. crowd crowdfund the bet. Twenty five dollars, yeah, Rich. Twenty five dollars. Oh, I'll I'll do twenty five. Okay. Twenty five dollars. Wow. Twenty five dollars on the specific bet. There will be an after credit scene in Endgame where one of the characters is revealed to be a scroll. Is that what you're saying right now? <laughs> Are yes. You, are you That's fucking what I'm kidding right me? Now. What are the stakes? No, I'm not kidding that. you. Jesus. It Florian, may not have been the Florian, entire time. you want to get on this too? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't like easy money? <laughs> well, I don't think Ewert has any more easy money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He, Man, he thinks he's going to make 25 bucks after this. I do. I do think so. At the end of Man, next I month, I guess we'll find out. He wants Muslims to be evil. This is bizarre. Yeah. E Rich? E Rich, what's wrong with you? First, you don't like the strong <laughs> female lead, and now this? The Damn. tables have turned. You guys mixed up your blue yeah. and red pills this morning. You can't fucking, you can't fucking cage me in, bitch. <laughs> no. I won't be kept down right by the you know a guy. world. <laughs> yeah, you won't be a good ally, ally after all. No. You're a spy in disguise all along. You're the real scrolls. Hmm. All right, I, I'm I'm the real pigeon. <laughs> me, me and me and Erich went on a, t a ten minute rant and made a bet. Florian, uh, what uh -huh. do you want to talk about from this movie? <laughs> I think it's completely unrealistic that the cat would survive for for nine <laughs> and six years. That's not how long cats live. My, really I was confused because the cat's name is Goose, but it's not yeah. a goose; it's a cat. Oh All no. Right. It's this confusing. is really fucking pisses pisses me off too. <laughs> In the comic books, the cat is named Chewie, which is obviously a Star Wars reference. Stupid. But they changed well, to a stupid. fucking Top Gun reference because I guess nobody <laughs> likes Star Wars anymore. No, but but, but Spider-Man specifically a... references uh, uh, Empire, right? He what? says, "Hey, Mr. Yeah, Stark, yeah. you ever seen that old that movie, old Empire movie. Stark?" But yeah, right, so right. why why wouldn't they just do another Star Wars reference? It's weird that they would change. Well, I'm, I guess I mean the writers of this movie they decided Star Wars is not what they uh, want. That was back before Star Wars was woke and had a strong female lead in Ray. Uh -huh. yeah, well, great. this is clearly a Mad Max reference, by the way, Goose. 
I don't think you're right about that one. Mad Max? Wait, what? Well, you, you Is there a goose in Mad Max? Mad Max where he says, that's not goose. I don't, I don't know who that is. Oh my is. god. No, I have no idea what the I fuck thought, wait, I thought it was a reference to... Roll? Wasn't it a reference know. to possibly, right? uh, Captain Marvel said that her favorite game is Duck Duck Goose? Oh. And that's why she named the cat that? that? They were playing Duck Duck Goose with the cat, and she always picked Goose for the cat because it couldn't chase her because it didn't speak English. <laughs> it didn't even know what was going on. I think that cat speaks English. <laughs> so the cat is secretly like a, a tentacle monster, and they even steal... They directly steal a scene from Guardians of the Galaxy where Big Groot uses his Big Groot trunk uh, branches to like yeah. kill a whole hallway of guys. They do the I same swear exact thing. It's the joke. same fucking CGI. I yeah. swear. It's like um, when, when Disney would thing. redo animations of like the fox dancing and they, they would do that in Cinderella. <laughs> it was the same fucking there's, shit. There's random fucking needle drops in this movie. Like they're playing like fucking Nirvana while she's fighting Supreme Intelligence. And then I, I love that. <laughs> there's a bunch of girl power songs from the '90s that drop in every. But like, it doesn't make sense. That's not this movie's like thing. What? What are you talking That's about? That's the galaxy's thing. Is that there's a reason that those characters are hearing those songs in some of those moments because it's all based on well, fucking Peter it, Quill's mom's music. Well, it's better that it's not that way. Okay, it's better than it. it, it doesn't need to be explained that they're hearing good music, even though. <laughs> The characters Nirvana aren't hearing the music, the music Florian. <laughs> well, yeah, I think they know. are because what? when Carol, when what Carol, Supreme Intelligence, they show a record player playing Nirvana. Huh. What? That's weird. Oh yeah, I guess so. So hmm. you're saying that the musical choices were anything but subtle for these scenes? Anything but subtle, and also like Obnoxious. obviously copying from Guardians of the Galaxy. Like yeah. they just want to do things that they've done before, and I don't know. Yeah. Find your own fucking gimmick. <laughs> uh, no. This sounds like, like a Gamergate sort of argument of you, Richie. Say, oh, girl gamers, <laughs> you don't like the boy games? Make your own game. Why are you trying to copy the boy games? e getting woke. He's, he's, All right, he's, guys. He's, he's falling asleep, it sounds like. It's the I'm, opposite of I'm going to break it down for you. Okay. It's so oh. easy to make this fucking movie. All you got to do is have her flying in the Air Force the army or air force or whatever tells her she can't fly because they're, they don't allow female pilots or something Ooh. like that. And then they <laughs> counterpoint that with uh, Jude Law's character, like trying to tamper down and saying she can't fly. Like she can use her uh, space uh, magic beam powers, but she can't fly. So both bad things in her life are telling her she can't fly. And it's all about breaking out of that, uh, that stricture that's being put on her. Like, I don't really understand in this movie why she like she's got that little chip on her and she can't use her powers for that reason she could destroy it at any fucking moment well she assumed that she was her? giving her powers well, because yeah the, na the name of the chip was the patriarchy and until she smashed it she didn't get full control of her power uh -huh. yeah it's just a little coin yeah there you go and she literally broke the glass ceiling when she flew for the first time she flew through that uh, greenhouse one of the problems oh, yeah. like is that her, her origin is pretty insane because she's kind of based on this other Captain Marvel character. And then his powers were transferred into her. And then they rebooted the character the, in the same kind of way that they did here. She gets a blood transfusion. And on top of that, uh, she also gets blown up by a fucking Kree engine or something and gets powers from that. And so to, to try to explain these things in a uh, two hour long movie, you kind of have to do a lot of backfilling and explain a lot of Kree stuff. Like, they could have easily tied this in with her Air Force life. And my problem is we don't really have a sense of who Carol is as a character before any of this shit happened to her for the most part. We have a montage at the end of the movie of her standing up when she was knocked down. <laughs> I get knocked down. But I get uh, up again. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think that's enough. Like, we need to see, like, we get that she has a friend and her friend is a kid and shit like that. But we really need to see them interacting with each other when they were pilots or some shit like oh god there's so much in this movie and they just don't characterize the main character enough well she was pretty much a mary sue to begin with but <laughs> then i but then she changed once she she blew up that engine i guess i, I don't think erich likes that term very much florian i'm sure he does he gives me the hives all right let, <laughs> let me th let me throw a few uh, questions at you guys i want to hear both of you answer Better uh, movie, Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? Wonder Woman. 
No fucking question. Yeah, for sure. Okay, there there are twenty. We'll say twenty two Marvel movies right now. We're gonna go through all of them. No, 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 no. Just, <laughs> just uh, without thinking too hard about it. If you had to uh-huh. rank it, uh, which which spot do you think it would take on the ranking? One being the best, twenty two being if the worst. I think there's only twenty one of them. I think. Okay. Captain, no, so twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Where do you say, think? What's your gut feeling? Where would this plug in on the list? Sixteen. Florian? Well, I th- I think there's like ten movies that are tied for for the middle spot of being really popular, <laughs> uh, and and it's just one uh, of them. Right. Okay, so it's you, you got it like tied for twelfth or something. Yeah, I guess. Okay. What do you think, Monkey? Uh I the only one I haven't seen is the Hulk one, so I can't judge that one. But I I would have this one tied with Thor one and Thor two. And I don't, and maybe like Ant Man, and the Wasp. Wait, does the Hulk even count? It sh- it does, but I don't count it because I haven't seen it. So yeah, I'd probably have it around sixteen wait, is, or so. Wait, is there is there a, a Hulk movie with this actor as the Hulk? No, they they changed the actor, but it's like supposed well, to be the it same doesn't character. Count then. No, it counts. Well, that, that, They've changed actors in this series before. Who? Uh, Rhodey. In Iron Man One, he was played by I think Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, but he's not. A male <laughs> he was. Character. He, he was not played by Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> he was played by Terrence Howard. God damn it! Well, who, who's, who plays him now? Uh, uh, Don Cheadle. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe if, if Don they, Cheadle, who was in this movie, if they who, changed the character, then he was it's in the a after credit scene. Version. Oh, what are you saying, Florian? If, if they change the main character, it's a different version. Just like Spider Man, it's a different Spider Man. No, no, no. You, you gotta, you gotta understand. They just recast. It's still the same character because Tony no, St- Tony Stark is in that movie. Tony Stark. He's in well, it. Damn, I don't know. There's just two Hulks in that universe. No, there's, there's fucking not. <laughs> Tony Stark is in that. What the fuck? I don't even remember that. Yeah, and so is General Ross, who comes back in mm-hmm. uh, Civil War. It's yeah, canon. They, I, he makes everybody feel bad about saving the world. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got to rack my brain. Do I have anything else about this? Guys, this mediocre I did film? actually like most of the scroll stuff in this movie. I thought uh, uh, Ben Mendelsohn was great as the main scroll, Talos. Yeah, he was great. I thought the highlight was everything with Nick Fury, especially the CGI was so great, making him look like it was mid 90s. Uh, Sam Jackson and really... I was kind of half and half on the CGI. With you didn't think it was good, Samuel Jackson? Shit, I his, thought it was his, perfect. His face seemed oddly like very frozen at times. Once you go no. black, you don't crack. Uh, no, he's not he cracking up. Perfect, you're, you're insane. And I, I just saw him be an an old guy who who ties up a sex crazed maniac in his basement, and now he's a young guy. Oh my god! Wait, I'm... oh yeah, yeah, you talking about black? <laughs> my mind is blown. <laughs> Uh, um, I think this is a Coulson's great. Coulson's also back. Yeah, this is kind of a great origin story for Nick Fury. I think it's better for his origin than even for Captain Marvel because we we see uh, him in his youth and how he comes up with the Avengers Initiative and all that stuff. I think it's a, a dual origin story. I don't really like. I, I'm so confused because I I read some interviews with Jackson talking about how this Fury is a completely different person who. Uh, is working a desk job and is interested in finding out what the fuck aliens are. But like a he pretty much job. takes it he pretty much takes it in stride that <laughs> he's a badass from the beginning. There's giant spaceships and all this shit is going on. He seems to be basically the same character just 29 years. Well, ago. I don't know in in Avengers New York is attacked by literal alien monsters and everybody mm-hmm. seems pretty uh you know, they, they accept it for what it is pretty quick. It doesn't really blow yeah, anybody's mind. Then this is the movie in which he's got to be, whoa, what the fuck? Like, he, he should be responding. Like, no, because I, I, I'm saying responses. nobody did that in the Avengers. Everybody just accepted yeah, that there were aliens. because he already would have fucking seen that shit. Well, yeah, I mean, he, everybody, he not just else. him. Uh, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I, I think... Uh, I'm, I'm surprised. I think, uh, I think we're all... More or less on the same boat with this movie. And really, everything I've seen from all my trusted reviewers also were like, yeah, this is a pretty meh movie. It's whatever. It's not yeah. horrible. It's It exists. It's whatever. 
Is that no, fair? I guess you can't please them all. Poor... It kind of bugs me that they did this right before Avengers Endgame. Yeah, me, I'm saying it into... came out at the wrong fucking time! Well, I disagree. If they had done it any sooner, then people would have just not gotten involved in the Marvel Universe. They would have been like, what the fuck is this? This isn't... This doesn't make any sense narratively. And so they well, had to do it now. Even like Phase 2 or Phase... Beginning of Phase 3. You could Maybe. have slotted us in. And... I'm no, telling I, you, I, right I... before the original Avengers, because the whole time we're waiting for him to call Captain Marvel, and he never does. Would have been so <laughs> tense. We're waiting. You, you what could possibly to... be a big enough villain that we he, we call Captain Marvel finally? What could it be? Oh, it's Thanos. <laughs> My question is, if if she is literally Super Saiyan, how is there even going to be an Endgame? She's, we see in the post credit scene, she shows up. What, she just punches Thanos once and he's dead. Where's the movie? I don't like how powerful this character is. Well, what, what do you? Why do you think she's that much more powerful than Thor and all the other guys? She can fly at the speed of sound or at the speed of light. She just flies through a spaceship and it explodes uh, immediately and is dead. Uh, <laughs> I, I bet Thor could do that. Oh yeah, Thor could do that. Yeah, yeah, I really don't think that she's any more powerful than Thor. Well, she's a little more powerful, well, but just because she's a woman. Thor would have killed Thanos in one hit, too, if he would have aimed just a little bit higher, according to you Thanos should've. himself. Wait, when he say you should have aimed for the head? Yeah, so, like, if you have Thor and Captain Marvel, how is there even a fucking fight? We, we know that they could both kill him immediately if they just aim for the head. I mean, well, they, don't, they don't need have... to kill him. They need to reverse what he did, though. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Which well, is no, surprising, just fucking kill him and take the gauntlet and fix it. It's so easy. <laughs> well, didn't he destroy the gauntlet when he snapped? Much like the Dragon Balls, I'm pretty sure all of the Infinity Stones are out of the gauntlet and the gauntlet's fucked. No, because he uh, used, yeah. after he snapped, he used the gauntlet to disappear. Yeah, it's, but it was it still really has power. I don't know, it still worked. <laughs> Well, damn. Man, I was so surprised. I thought that Captain Marvel... I thought when, when, when Nick Fury used that Patriot, it sent a, a signal back in time because it's a fucking Patriot. I thought Captain Marvel would, would defeat Thanos from the past, but now I don't know what the fuck's going to happen in Endgame. It's did you, be did crazy. you watch the mid credit scene where she shows up and meets the Avengers? Yeah. That... Yeah. Well, oh, you know. my God. Florian stayed in the theater past the screen going black. <laughs> yeah, it was wow. a good song. Holy shit. It was a good song. <laughs> it wasn't that good. <laughs> I forgot that was Florian's fucking like, main criteria is that if I like the song. <laughs> well, I've left with whatever songs on that I, that I liked, but I guess I guess I was patient that time because I really wanted to see how it ties in. Yeah, and right. I'm disappointed. She's just. She was just in space and didn't pay attention. Great. Yeah, the last 23 years, she's just been chilling in space and never came back to visit her black best friend or the daughter who she promised she'd come back to visit soon or any of that. She was just <laughs> fucking flying yeah. around in space doing nothing. Yeah, she didn't even defeat the guy with the hammer. That was someone else who had to defeat Yeah, they, him. they had to do a dance-off to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Dance-off, bro. Okay, let's go around <laughs> the horn. E. Rich, is Captain Marvel Kino, and would you recommend it, and if so, to who? Um, I think this movie is Kino in 2010. I think nine years ago, I would be singing this movie's praises. I think I would be so saying you're that saying it, like it if it came subverted... out right before Avengers, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd be saying that it subverted <laughs> expectations, it. and I didn't, I didn't know what I would expect from a Captain Marvel movie, but they they changed it up on me. Um, but the problem is we've seen Marvel do this formula really well a couple times and i don't think this is a great way to do the formula i think it uh, actively detracts from the captain marvel character and uh i really wish that i wasn't saying that about this movie because i think it's important to see women uh, oh in god <laughs> damn it couldn't finish the podcast without breaking that shit into it okay. uh-huh there you go florian uh, is this movie kino and would you recommend it uh, well, I guess it's Kino, but the thing is, <laughs> I wouldn't guess. recommend it. What do you mean? <laughs> Kino in what way? Kino, it. we don't just toss Kino around to every movie. Yeah. How's it Kino? Well, what do you mean? It's got good action and stuff and good music. What do you think Kino no! means? No! Do not say that, Florian. Do not say this movie has good action. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, it's got good action. No, it does is... not. I can't fucking see a goddamn thing. God damn it. 
Isn't that all the all the superhero movies from Marvel? No, no. Them, the please? fucking Captain America movies had great action. Yeah. Well, that one was just really grounded because he's just a guy on steroids. I mean, how how are you gonna have that when when you got a glowing woman of fire? The fucking who flies? beginning action sequence of this movie takes place on a fucking fog planet. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. It's like they're actively trying to hide the action from us. Yeah. Don't you see that it was the fog of the patriarchy? You you fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, out can cucking I make the cuck. <laughs> so basically, I, I wouldn't monkey. recommend it. What? So basically, I'm monkey. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> now, I wouldn't recommend it because it's just if if I it's was gonna. It's Kino, recommend... but you wouldn't recommend it. Wow. Yeah, don't even let me talk. <laughs> if I was going to recommend a Marvel movie, I would just say Avengers. And, and, and <laughs> who would I recommend this to who hasn't seen the Marvel movies? I don't know. But Florian, it broke new ground. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> Name one female superhero movie and then see you before this. Oh, well... Oh, I, I just was so egalitarian that I didn't even notice that she's a woman. <laughs> and then I didn't fucking assume You know what gender. egalitarian means? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me give you a real opinion, folks. Uh, I'm going to say what I said a few episodes ago. Don't waste your money on this movie. Go see Alita. Just go fucking see Alita. It's yeah. better in every way, and it has the female hero. Jerk off in the theater. Go see Alita. You don't need to see this one before you see Endgame. Because, what, oh, I need to know about this character before she's in it. No. You're not going to learn <laughs> shit about this fucking character like Erich has been saying all night. Well, uh, you learn about Nick Fury. Doesn't matter. We, we know enough about him. <laughs> nothing in this movie is consequential. It means nothing. It's filler. You don't need to see it. it just kind of like how Cap uh, or, um, Doctor Strange is a better movie than this, but you also can skip Ooh. Doctor Strange. Because he, he's introduced so well in Infinity War, and you understand him just right off the bat. You like you don't need the origin because once you see him in the context of the team up movie, you get the character. I think this is a similar thing. You don't need to see it. Monkey saying that this movie is not as good as Doctor Strange to me is like the opposite Sophie's Choice, where I want to give one of my kids up to the Nazis. <laughs> you hate Doctor Strange. I I don't know which I hate more. Wow. Yeah, I, really, I really don't like Doctor Strange. Doctor well, Strange is, he... is slightly better than uh, than like Thor in all the dog shit Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. Which Thor? All of the Thor? No, no, Thor, Thor 1 and 2. Thor. Thor 3 is where they got it right. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. The, the silly one. Well, the thing is that you can just skip Doctor Strange by just watching the trailer. I, yeah, I don't think that is any... also true. Yeah. Also yeah, true. Just watch the trailers and then watch Avengers. Easy. Yeah, you do that for Captain right. Marvel. Could you get Captain Marvel by watching the trailer? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, well, that's that fucking. I mean, you wouldn't I get, get uh, knocked uh, down, and I get up. <laughs> well, just watch the trailer to tub thumping, and that that'll be it. That's all you need <laughs> to do. Uh, so I guess our consensus review is go watch Alita: Battle Angel while it's still in theaters, uh -huh. and uh, that's it. Oh, the one thing I did want to talk about uh, real quick was there's a bunch of memes going around that like Alita is so much better than Captain Marvel True. and like Captain what? Marvel is like the the worst uh, female movie and I was really disheartened by that before I saw Captain Marvel but now I'm basically fully fully behind that. <laughs> this isn't gonna be another Black Panther thing where after you see it again you're gonna sing its praises, right? I'm not gonna see this movie again. <laughs> wow. I I. I could very well have thought that I could have liked Black Panther more than that first time when I first saw it. But no, no, I refuse to watch this movie again. Yeah. Well, yeah, well you're going to force him to watch it again, Mom. You're going to review this movie three times because it's so important for well, it, women. It, it is Women's History Month, so we kind of have to watch it again and again yeah, and again. Yeah, it needs to I be think. done. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll see you again tomorrow with another Alita. <laughs> I mean, another Captain Marvel review. Can we review Alita again? <laughs> Oh, damn, I don't know. I, I was just looking up Alita's box office. I guess they're close to 400 million now. Ooh, let's get up to, let's get to well, half a billion on that one. 360, I guess, is what it is worldwide. No, that's not too hey. good. You, you don't think? Based on the budget and the marketing, I'm, I'm guessing uh, they're probably hoping for a little bit more. Well, I mean, it's not done yet. 
I think it's on its way. Some guy in the chat said, does every minority really deserve a history month? Do you think women are a minority? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, 51% well, see... of the earth is women. They're the majority. <laughs> Damn it, Mumkey, you're a bad feminist. Don't you see that women are a minority because they have a minority of the power? On, on <laughs> I don't Mumkey. think that's what that means. I think it's like a population comparison. Dude, when you if say you a ask a feminist, that's what that, what that means. Yeah, well. Uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, boys, where can we find you guys online? Check out Game Squid on YouTube, everyone. Yeah. He just made a video about me being stuck in a cave in Astronia. That's very important to watch. It's my real origin story. <laughs> and Erich, do you want to plug anything? Yeah, sure. You can find me at Erich Kino on Twitter, E R I C H K I N O. Um, also, my YouTube channel is at Erich on YouTube. And as always, I am Monkey Jones. If you want to watch this show live, you can go to twitch.tv slash Monkey Jones and hit that follow button. I don't know what we're going to review next, boys. Is anything coming out anytime soon? Other Let me than look Avengers? What's coming out next week. And, and Avengers is like still six or seven weeks away. Oh, man. I want it. I want to see it. Actually, I don't even know what the hell's going to be in it. How, do, how are they going to defeat him? He's already done his thing. We'll, we'll find out. Let's see out. here. Oh, Captive State's coming out next week, but I don't know anything about that, really. Wait, do you think Captain Marvel will just fly around the Earth until it reverses time? I don't think so. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Superman is the ultimate, Mary Sue. That, that's how True. you do it, right? You fly around the Earth and it resets time in the entire universe. All yeah, right, for Is It Kino, I've been Monkey Jones. We'll see you guys next time. I get well, knocked yeah. down. And but I get, I get up, up again. again. You're never You're gonna, never keep, gonna me down. keep me down. <laughs> All right, I cut it there. There we go, boys. Another we Kino in the books. We only went on for 50 fucking minutes about Captain Marvel. Good lord. So what's that song called? I need to look it up. It's called Chum Chumba Wumba. <laughs> Chumba Wumba is the band. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Shazam. Um, when does Shazam come out? I think oh, that's god. near the beginning of summer. No, Shazam's this month. What? Yeah. For real? Yeah. That's what I want to see. Shazam's gonna be pure fucking Kino. Wow, you're right. March 23rd. Shit. I what am already gonna wager that I will like Shazam better. Wait, is that Marvel or DC? I it's, guess it's DC. DC. Uh, Shazam, I like better from the trailer. It has Chuck in it. It's funny. Uh huh. It's Chuck. big. It's big with superheroes. Yeah, a 14 year old kid with Superman powers. It's awesome. Big no, Hero that's Spider-Man, damn it. I'm sick of it. I need grown-up heroes finally. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a reverse pedophile. You only want to see adults. What? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying I want to have sex with superheroes? Do you? You, sicko. you don't want to have sex Everybody... with Captain Marvel? Everybody oh, watched fine. the Peter K. Rosenthal review of Spider-Man Homecoming where he oh, objectifies God. young Peter Parker the entire time. Oh, He's... no. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that in poor taste? Uh, it's it's criticizing critics who oftentimes do the same thing to young young women. To children? Wow. What? <laughs> yeah, they do that all the fucking time. To children? <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. Okay, let's hang out with the chat, but Erich is going to bed because he has work in four hours. I, Man, I can I can stay for seven minutes. Oh. That, that was a thing I wanted to say, and I forgot to say it in the thing. Oh, no. I, I'm, I'm saying that Captain Marvel is, is fucking inconsistent because she's got blue blood, but she's got pink skin. She's got blonde hair, but she's got <laughs> black eyebrows. What the fuck? So, such a lazy dye job. Wait, Just, pink, pink how, skin? How what, what do you mean pink, pink skin? skin? Well, we don't have pink skin. We have white skin, and then we have red blood under it. We don't have. We do not have pink white skin. skin. We have blue blood, Florian. We have blue blood. <laughs> our, our skin color is determined by our blood color. It's not. It doesn't make sense that she would just have blue blood with, when she's really wait, gross wait, and wait. pink. Wait, Isn't our skin color decided by uh, pigmentation? Yeah, my yeah, skin is the, not that's fucking the black white. Part. It's not like literally the color white. Sure it is. If you take off a skin, like a, a flake of skin, it's going to be mostly white. It's, it's going to look it's like, like my th this cookout cup. It's going to be white. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a little gray, but it's the, the red is definitely from the blood. I, I, don't, I don't think white people are actually the color white. That's crazy. You know there's white meat, right? You know that black people have the same blood you do, right? <laughs> They're a different color.
Well, they they're still reddish tinted, though, aren't they? What do you what are you what are you talking about? Well, they have. Wait, I'm looking at my veins right now, and my blood is yeah. blue. Yeah, like the, the veins Your look kind of blue, blue in there. Oh, God damn. Well, it's it's the small the capillaries that that's where where all the blood is in the skin, and and that's what makes it red or pink. <laughs> I, I think the chat's gonna have to tell me. Am I a white man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I prefer the term Caucasian myself. I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Florian, yeah. Google mel melanin. Melanin, yeah. Yeah, go Google Oh, you it. think we've got pink pigment? Man. I don't think I'm pink either. Well, I mean, I don't know colors. what color I would call this. Well, it's definitely tinted by the blood, though. You think you can't <laughs> see the blood from the outside? How do people get red then? <laughs> uh, sunburn. It's like your skin is literally cooking, isn't it? If if they blush, then it's radiation. They... No, if they blush, it's blood, right? Yeah, it's blood flowing to the yeah. Yeah, every... but my my cock isn't bright red. <laughs> is yours? <laughs> yeah, it's bright blue, like a yeah, Nazi. It's, it's bright blue. <laughs> I mean, I hook up my ponytail to a chick, and then we do it. <laughs> or a giant it. tree. <laughs> Am I wrong about this blood thing? I, I don't even right. know what you're talking about. I think I'm half asleep. I think she'd be bluish tinted if she had blue blood. I don't know. I get knocked down, but I get up and again. I get up again. You're never you're gonna, gonna keep, keep, me keep me down. I get knocked down. But I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Dancing I take a whiskey tonight. drink. I take a long drink. I take a side <laughs> drink. I sing the songs that remind me of the good times. I sing the songs that remind me of the better times. Dancing the Don't night. Don't cry for me. Dancing the night away. I get knocked down. And I get up again. Is that all the same song? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Um, Florian, look up to plumbing and just listen to the next 24 hours. Well, I mean, I know the song. I just can't believe that that's the name of the song and the band. It's fucking... No, ridiculous. it's Chumbawamba. Yeah, oh. I know. Chumbawamba. What the fuck? That's not a name. <laughs> yeah, the song name is Tub Thumping. Yeah, I, it's bizarre. That's great. And I looked it up. It's a really low resolution m music video. <laughs> I guess it must be old. I once made a music video of that song, but with Bender from Futurama just dancing around. And I thought wow. that was the, the coolest shit ever I don't ever think made. I saw that. Yeah, you didn't see it because I made it when I was like 14. Oh. I, <laughs> bring it back. Yeah. Guys, we didn't talk about how Captain Marvel affects Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s continuity. Does it? I've never even seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s. Wow, you haven't seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Everybody has, right? It's part of the MCU. Everyone who oh, watches shit. the movie has watched that show, right? right? I've never seen it. <laughs> Well, at least I've seen the latest season of The Punisher. Hashtag it's all connected. Oh. Wait, so yeah, how, what, how did the movie Punisher fuck gonna, up the... Gonna... Hmm? How did oh, the yeah, movie fuck on. it up? Uh, I don't think it does that much. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, uh, Coulson gets brought to back to life by the Kree at some point. By the Kree? Oh, no. in, yeah, the Kree. In, in the show? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, damn. Who could have foreseen that there would be weird shit in that show? Not me. <laughs> I don't know. Should I watch it? Who the fuck are the no, agents of don't, S.H.I.E.L.D. No, don't anyways? watch it. It's a waste of time. Well, well does, it have, the... does it have Nick Fury in it at least? No. It does. He's in like one of the first ten episodes. Right. Oh, in like one of them. Second. And then he never shows up again. Yeah. Wow. What if we just see like an intern and then he, he only sees Nick Fury uh, once? The Lady Sif from the Thor movie shows up. Who cares? I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Damn. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to get these characters to appear in their shitty show. Uh-huh. <laughs> what about the, the Peggy Cardle, uh, Carter show? Did you like that, E. Rich? I, saw, I watched all of it. I didn't care much for it. Oh. You just kept what watching. What is that? It's Captain America's girlfriend. Oh, jeez. She had more adventures b before she got old and died. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, that's that's interesting, I guess. Yeah. Wait. Wait, she died? Oh, damn. Yeah. How do you... In fucking Civil War, dude, did you watch any of these movies? 
Does Florian? Does Florian know what the fuck we're Wait, talking well, about? Was she alive in Civil War and then she died? He thought that the yeah. He Florian thought the cartoon Spider Man was part of the MCU. Of course, he's not paying any attention. <laughs> well, it is. It's fucking stupid. I mean, obviously, it's part of the universe. It's just an alternative universe. You're damn it! Crazy. It's the the universe where everyone is. An, it's a cartoon. How's it part of the universe if it's part of a different universe? <laughs> I don't know, it's part of the multiverse, then fine. Wow. <laughs> the Marvel multiverse. I can't believe they haven't played with the multiverse. I can't believe that, that what Thanos did didn't mess with the timeline somehow. It's pretty... I thought they, the only way they'd fix it is by, by going back in time or something. We'll find out in the new movie. We have no idea. There's Gotta no get way to back know. in time. Do, do, do. Well, now both my kisses are on the floor. <laughs> oh, I saw you were ringing a bell there. Wow. No, this is a Hershey's kiss that I got in my Lunchables Reloaded. <laughs> oh, I, love, I love how I saw it fall down after you told me <laughs> it fell down. Yeah. The uh, the Lunchable was no good. Oh, no. You were trying to sell me a Lunchable, so now they're not good? Damn it. Florian, how much would somebody have to pay you to show your feet? What well, my feet? People That's were happening. paying me to show my feet earlier. Feet pics. Yeah, people really like seeing feet. <laughs> I don't know, but what if I have really weird feet? What What then? What will people think of me? Oh, uh, yeah. Then they'll know you're weird. <laughs> what, what, what if I have really long toes that almost look like fingers? Uh, that can't they can't look right. worse than uh, Brie Larson's fucking toes. Horrible. <laughs> what was wrong with her toes? Oh, somebody posted a picture in the chat. It, they are horrendous <laughs> what? it's like a nightmare oh no post it again i must see <laughs> yeah somebody post that picture so florian can see it it's it's a nightmare i mean i remember seeing her actually toes. I, I, I have it right here i have it right here i'll send it to you on discord yeah well, you should sell it on screen how oh, well <laughs> uh, no i'm not doing that i don't want to get taken <laughs> down for uh here what do you think of these toes oh yeah right i can't see notifications right oh i don't know she's just wearing bad shoes that's all no look at those toes look at the toenails dude <laughs> eerich are you on are you pro or anti these feet oh god <laughs> what a nightmare oh, toenails? Man. pretty strongly anti but uh <laughs> but feet what don't actually matter feet don't actually matter yeah well. what feet lives matter uh, i'm not looking at her feet no, yeah. Uh, what are you looking at? Are you gonna see your feet when when you go in the chat again? Redacted. Yeah, since uh, Asterios gives out his uh, phone number for free all the time, everybody <laughs> should just text him asking him for uh, foot pics. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Who wouldn't want to see his crusty old feet? Hmm. Some guy tried to pay me to get uh, Asterios's feet, <laughs> but then we found it in a video anyway. Eglin sticking up for me in the chat said E. Rich is looking at her per personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was just looking at her personality on his phone. The personality where she tells white men to not see her movie. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah did, that was. Did you see bizarre. that they uh, Rotten Tomatoes wanted to fix the audience score, so they deleted like mm -hmm. fifty thousand reviews, but it, <laughs> it only boosted the score by three <laughs> percent. Oh wow! Wait, the audience <laughs> score or the, the reviewer score? The the audience score. Wow. So have we committed haram by not liking this movie now? Wow! The fucking New York Times. This is this is a clip from their review. You will stay through the very last credits in the hope of collecting every last Easter egg, and you'll shuffle out of the theater feeling both satisfied and empty. <laughs> what does that mean? That's what I mean, it feels like to watch a Marvel movie. I, I didn't yeah, stay for the post credit scene. Was I, it was like the cat vomiting up the the test Yeah, the cosmic cube. Yeah. Was it worth mm. seeing? Hell no. No. She just kept it in the cat. Damn it. So it's a just, good thing I left the theater to beat the traffic. The cat should like just killed Thanos. Yeah. yeah. Where's that cat at now? Where's Nick yeah, Fury's cat? Somebody plot holes. <laughs> They just let him out. <laughs> they let him free. Would you be disappointed if Thanos beats all the Avengers and then the cat shows up and beats Thanos? No, that That'd would be, be great. the best. Okay, I'm glad you guys are on the and same then, page. And then you start Pet Avengers. 
Uh, <laughs> you guys don't like Pet Avengers? Yeah, it just got Rocky Raccoon and the cat, and who else? No! <laughs> Thor, Frog Thor. Frog <laughs> Thor? What? Yeah. With lightning powers? Yeah, he, he holds the hammer of Thor. Oh, you mean just a regular frog who is also Thor? I thought mm -hmm. that was a reference there to an actual thing. It is an actual thing. Pet Avengers what? is a real thing. What? Pet Avengers! Look up fucking Pet Avengers! Hey, Rich, I think you need to go to bed. I think you're getting a little irate <laughs> about this uh, Pet Look Avengers. Look up Pet Avengers! <laughs> <laughs> He's, he seems really upset about this. I don't know what's going on. They oh. battled Devil Dinosaur. <laughs> Florian, uh... Well, yeah, I guess that Florian, happens. over an hour ago, th some guy donated and said, Hey, you should... Florian should say diversity is our strength. God damn it, why don't they stop making me say weird things? Fuck. They want you to say it in German. Diversity is our strength. That doesn't even make sense, damn it. In it German? doesn't make sense. In German? I don't think we use that word that way. I think it would be multiculturalism, if anything. Well, say it. We gotta hear it. God damn it, why must I be a slave to your chat? <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, wow, yeah, somebody in the chat loves Pet Avengers. <laughs> Great. Awesome. I mean, it looks decent, I guess. My job is done. <laughs> you've done it. You've, I you've, get knocked you've down. You've honored Stanley. And I get up again. Never okay. gonna keep me down. Good night. Yeah, good night. Okay. <sighs> it... I think you may have not changed the title. Yeah, no, I, I forgot to change the title. It doesn't matter. People don't usually tune in for Isakino anyway. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll tune in to, to preparing for Isakino. <laughs> People are confused that there's no word for diversity in German. Well, it doesn't mean racial diversity. No, they're not saying racial diversity is our strength. They're saying diversity in general is our strength. Diversity well, of mean... culture, diversity of, of thoughts and, and <laughs> beliefs. Diversity is our strength, because when we all come together with different ideas and different backgrounds, we can come to one final solution. God damn it, Mumkey. You, you want to have all these people come together for a final solution? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all these different thinking people, huh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Lots of diversity to be our strength. <laughs> damn. There you go. Work on that diversity. Yeah. I what are your plans for the future? Uh, <laughs> probably gonna kill myself after I see Endgame. Oh, uh, the, the final a, end game. It's about <laughs> yes, you're not wrong. I think <laughs> we will we'll do the Isakino for Endgame. Hopefully, like the day after it comes out, I'll upload that, and then like I'll just be done. Like I'll just jump Damn. off a building or something. That's the plan. What about you? What well, are you going to do with the future? Well, what if it gives you new hope? The movie? No, I, I've been waiting years for this movie. There's nothing else I need. I'm not going to wait for the... I'm not going to hold off my suicide for the fucking Spider-Man movie. I'll just be... He's like, yeah, I'm good. That's the only reason why you cling to life. God damn it. No, yeah, it don't is do cape it. shit. Cape shit is all I live for. <laughs> Man, you, you fucking maniac. Don't kill yourself. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to hear this from you, you corn-eating pizza fuck. <laughs> what are your plans for the future, Florian? Oh man, I don't, I don't even have plans for today. I guess I'll, I'll try to do a little work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your day's just getting started. I'm about to go to bed. I might play video games all day. Damn it! What games? <laughs> I, I got back into League of Legends. Oh God! <laughs> can, can people add you as a friend on there and like join your squad? Oh no, please no. Oh okay. <laughs> Maybe we have some good players in the audience. You don't know. Oh, maybe. I, I play pretty weirdly, though, so they wouldn't be fans for mm, long. <laughs> wow. Well, I've heard that from a few girls, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, man. Mega Man Legends kinky, 3 huh? is his holdout for suicide. It's not going to happen, fam. It's not going to happen. <laughs> they canceled it, like, eight years ago. It's not going to fucking happen. <laughs> oh. What did they cancel? Mega Man Legends 3. Oh, was that going to be interesting to you? Hell yeah, dude. Mega Man Legends is like my favorite game. Your favorite movie? Game. Oh, game. Right. 
Wait, they, they made a new Mega Man, didn't they? No, I only good? like Mega Man Legends. I don't care about this other Mega Man shit. <laughs> Mega Man Legends is where it's at. Let me see what this is. Maybe you would like it. It's a PlayStation 1 era game. Those are some weird graphics I'm looking at here. Yeah, well, it was, it was 1998, I think, so. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a drawing that looks kind of like it's, it's cell shaded 3D. So I was confused. <laughs> yeah, it was the first 3D Mega Man game. And oh, wait, <laughs> probably the last. The, is that just a title screen? Hmm. No, I don't know. Nah, probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah, Battle Network is pretty good, too. I'll give you that. More Mega Man? Yeah, people are arguing in the chat about um, Mahler's Star Wars videos. Have you watched these, Florian? I have. Yeah, are you, I don't really big remember fan? much. I guess I was playing video games. <laughs> well, he posted a new one, I think, two days ago. Yeah, I listened to it in the background. Oh, huh. yeah. I can't remember what he said, though. <laughs> yeah, when you post a three-hour video, you can't expect us to actually sit there and watch it. So, yeah, then you like play a game while it plays, and then you don't really pay attention, and then it was like you didn't even watch it. Yeah, I like how he says, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm taking so long with these videos because I'm editing them so well now. You want? I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to edit them. Nobody's watching a three-hour video. <laughs> We're listening yeah. to your sexy voice tell us why the movie sucks. I, I prefer the old ones where it's just like just him playing Star Wars Battlefront over it. Yeah. Uh, nah, that was actually still edited though. I don't know. What a madman. Putting all this effort in. But who who watches them even? I, I think they just listen. Yeah, I, I don't know if I could sit there and watch it for three hours. Yeah, it's like a movie. <laughs> it's longer. It's, it's longer like, than the movie. Each part of his review is longer than the movie he's reviewing. Yeah, yeah, obviously. And it's a five-part it, review. It's like a Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's his grand opus each time. Uh, so, did you listen to them? Uh, yeah, I I actually keep it on screen, like so. I'll half watch it while I'm playing my like DS or something. But yeah, I've uh, so I've been watching them. So how often did he put the green milk in? <laughs> <laughs> With uh, Luke sucking the, the titty of that big yeah. monster? He puts it in quite a bit. <laughs> I think every five minutes. <laughs> he loves showing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So I guess he got like half an hour into the movie now. Or, or, or did he not yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he spent about two hours on the, the title crawl of the... <laughs> the first part of his review yeah I, I think he left off I don't remember where he left off yeah man I guess it's moving so slowly you can barely tell <laughs> it takes him about an hour to get about 10 minutes through the movie but there's, there's man, so but... many things wrong with it I guess oh no well yeah I guess it sure is Man, I can't believe that they made Force Awakens so badly and then everyone liked it. Did I mean, everyone it... like it? Well, I think so. Ears didn't like it, and he's a Star Wars he, fanboy. He only doesn't like it now. I think he liked it to probably no, not. No, he never liked it. Oh, yeah, I guess I, so. I think that's why he loves The Last Jedi so much, is because it's so well, different. Well, I'm just saying that it's basically the most successful movie ever. I don't know. So that's why I thought everyone liked it. <laughs> it. It was ridiculous. Yeah, that that's why I liked Last Jedi as well, because it's, it's not Force Awakens. I guess the bar has been set pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I guess the the acting and everything's fine in Force Awakens. It's just that the story is just so retarded. It's just <laughs> like the same story again, but then they, they just ignore how the story was basically resolved. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of uh, makes their heroic efforts meaningless when it was all reversed in like 10 years. Well, Am I mean, I, I don't planning care on about doing... that. It's just, it, it's just that at this point it's a rerun and I wouldn't want to see yeah. it. I mean, I've, I actually do want to see Star Wars again. I just don't want to see a cheap knockoff version, even though it's it's technically an expensive knockoff version. But <laughs> couldn't you have just made a fucking original story, god damn yeah. it? This guy wants to know if I'm going to do a nuzlocke of pokemon sword and shield of course i am folks live on oh. twitch 
If I still have a Twitch channel. <laughs> yeah. And if you're still alive. Wait, when oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot I'm killing myself <laughs> next month. <laughs> never oh, mind. No. no, never mind. There's not going to be a Nuzlocke. You're a great plant, so shut <laughs> at <us>. Shit. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? I, are you, are you going to kill yourself on a 24-hour stream? <laughs> oh, yeah. We have to do another one of those this month, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Great. I can't wait. It's, it's only been... This stream it hasn't even been two and a half hours, and I'm already too tired. Yeah, how did you do it? You you, you were so high energy the entire time. Yeah, I don't time. know. I, I guess uh, <laughs> uh, Brad Dassey kept me energized with his great music. Damn. I guess you got to just put him... In your headphones, where only you can hear him <laughs> next time. No, thank you. <laughs> Stream your feet for 24 hours. You got to earn it, Bug Spine. How many times I got to tell you? You have to earn it. How much is it? They How keep much asking. Must they, pay you? they keep asking that. I say, I'll, I'll tell you when I see the money. <laughs> when the right amount of money comes in, I'll know that it's good foot money. That, that, that's that's stripper logic right there. Yeah, I'm a you, you never know how much money you're gonna put in there till the, that bra drops. Yeah, because <laughs> if you tell them how much, then you're a sucker because you could have got more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Baron, so I, I, guess, I saw your comment on the new Tommy video. I appreciated it. So I guess the best way to get Mum Kid to show his feet is to just give him single dollars each time. And it'll seem like a lot, even though it isn't. Mm, yeah, keep everybody keep throwing in five bits, and it'll all add up. <laughs> yeah. You'll have a, a bra full of dollar bills. <laughs> I don't think there's a bra in this house that would fit my frame. I think I would stretch them all out to death. What? You fucking skinny boy, what are you talking about? I, I got a big wide chest, dude. I'm a big guy for you. <laughs> a bigger chest than tits? Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Society Liver, thank you so much. How much was it? Five bits. <laughs> it's, it's spinning like that Hershey's kiss, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Obs I need a fidget spinner. I can't stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm a madman. Uh, and then he can just loop, loop Rusty Cage just fi fidget spinner song over. <laughs> yeah. over no, that song's banned from YouTube. It's shadow banned. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what do you guys think really? about Tommy C? Do you even know who Tommy C is, Florian? Well, I think he's the guy who had an interview with you, and then he, 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 he commented over the video where you were talking about quit reviews and yeah. i think he mostly cut me out of it oh <laughs> that's too bad i probably would have been annoying anyways though <laughs> yeah tommy's a good friend i like tommy c you got no qualms like how, with him i like how he cuts cuts out where i insult quinton's face <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess he only wanted the the true <laughs> drama was between quinton and i i guess it it wouldn't have fit his his narrative of the heroic monkey if if you had someone on who would just insult Quint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the guy who made Super Meat Boy. <laughs> no. Do people confuse you for that a lot? Sometimes. Were you even in that stupid uh, gamer indie gamer documentary? Do they even reference you no, at all? They they, they only showed my games. Well, I I don't know. He might have talked about me. I don't remember, oh. but. They, they showed my games, I guess, because I made, like, five little games with Edmund, well, four, and, and Isaac. And they didn't interview you at all? I, was it in time? I guess it was in time. Well, I wasn't in America. Mm. I, don't know, I guess they, they weirdly interview people in person, but also I was really shy, so it wouldn't yeah. even have been likely. Probably would have been a, a bad interview. Yeah. They would have cut you out. No, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Florian's the you. guy who made Cave Story. God damn it. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to make my own indie game, the movie, one day. <laughs> what, just filming yourself eating corn pizza? <laughs> yeah, and then jumping into a pool and then having a camera underwater. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, no, I'm fat. That would be bad. <laughs> is there, I, I don't remember this movie. There's a scene where your friend jumps into a pool with a camera underwater? No, F Phil Fish jumps into the water and it's it's like... 
really pretentious, I guess. Which one is Phil Fish? <laughs> the one everyone hates. Yeah, the one who made Fess. What the fuck is that? I don't. Is that a game I would know? I don't know. It's uh. a game where you turn the camera and then it's 2D still. That's called Super Paper Mario. <laughs> no, is it? <laughs> yeah, did he, he made Super Paper Mario. <laughs> no. You made Radical Heights and Lawbreakers? Look up fast. It's great. Did Florian make Papers, please? Was that you? <laughs> yeah, I actually did make all of the indie games. You, you made every single one. You made Mass Effect? <laughs> <laughs> the most indie game of all. <laughs> you made Half-Life 2, Episode 3. <laughs> I'm still working on three. <laughs> you better get on that. All right, everybody. I'm um, finally eating the kiss. Oh, wow. They've been begging it's for it. Big reveal. <laughs> Man. <laughs> How is it? I hate American chocolate. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's not that good. Who would have guessed? This weird sour taste in this American chocolate. What were they thinking? Sour? It's not sour. It's just, if anything, it's too sweet. Really? I think wow. your, your chocolate's just more bitter. Wow, chocolate's more bitter? Yeah. That can't be right. Now it's just 95% sugar. That <laughs> can't be right either. <laughs> I'm telling you. Damn. Did, did you make Dragon Ball Z Budokai? Oh jeez, no, was, that's was that too your game? For me. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, I guess you'll. I, I guess in the next twenty-four hour stream, you'll just play all the games. All your and games. We'll have to guess if I made it. <laughs> did you make Sonic <laughs> Mania? And if so, why did Sai hate it so much? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is that the one that was supposed to be good? No, damn. Yeah, it was like a a fan-made game that became an official game, and it was better than every other Sonic game. Wait, really? It was a fan-made game? That's how it started off, yeah. Thank you, Sacranax. Well, did they just buy it? I th yeah, I think so. Was it a finished game, and then they they bought it? I, th from what I understand, they like they made some levels or something, and then Sega liked what they saw, and then hired them <laughs> to like actually make the game. Well, I guess that's legit. Yeah, hmm. that's cool. So that's why why it was not as shitty as the previous Sonic games. Yeah. The 3D ones. Did Florian make <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Five? Is that one of your oh, games? Man. Yeah, sure. I'm <laughs> I'm Travis. Wait, is Travis? that his name? I don't know. Well, the the trailer trash guy. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> no, I think he's Travis oh, Phillips. Yeah. All right. Travis. Man, he was great. <laughs> I can't believe it took him that long to finally make a good character in, in GTA. Well, actually, I guess there's only a few 3D GTA games before that, but still. Did God, Florian did make the stories. Meet and Fuck series? <laughs> no. You ever make a Meet and Fuck game? <laughs> I would never. Did you make the games that they advertise on Pornhub banners? <laughs> Well, maybe one day I'll have to make one of those. <laughs> Did you win the last League of Legends World Championship? <laughs> I know. I have all these serious questions. What will I do? <laughs> uh, nobody else is asking if you made a game, so I guess uh, we, we ran out of games for you to make. <laughs> well, you could see all the 20 games that I made on my website. But they, they're all t a really small resolution because they're old. What is it, gamesquid.com? <laughs> uh, it's comicsgames.com with a K and an X. I guess it's really stupid. Now, gamesquid.com should work. Why yeah, is the text so small in the donations again? I can't make it bigger. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. It won't even let me change it anymore. What the fuck? That's crazy. Damn. What is going on? Streamlabs is fucking up. I don't know. I guess I got game-squid.com. Jesus. Why didn't I get the other? Oh, I guess the other one won. There was a guy who wanted like a thousand bucks for the, the domain gamesquid.com. Oh, shit. Hey, Jeez. Michael wants to know, did Florian make Wolfenstein based off your alternative, uh, alternative history beliefs? 
<laughs> well, no, he, he wouldn't be playing the, the, the Americans, wouldn't you? <laughs> Did Florian make Hatred? That's a good game. Yeah, that game's great. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you sucked at it. No, that was, was that, that was Jumpy, yeah. yeah. Jumpy yeah. played it on the... What an idiot. <laughs> yeah, he sucks. He even I had it on the easiest game. difficulty, I think. Yeah, wait, did he? Yeah. Or did he have it on hard and then die stupid? No, I, I think it, it was super it, hard. It was on easy, and he's like, why is it so easy? And then he got hit by a police car. <laughs> did that instant kill him? Yeah, I think that's how he died. <laughs> Did Florian yep. invent the wheel? Good question. Oh, yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> You've done so much. <laughs> yeah. The wheel was one of my greatest accomplishments. Did Florian <laughs> make my dad leave me? God damn it. Well, it had to be done, okay? <laughs> Not everyone can have a dad. Yeah. yeah. Steal your dance as if it was easy. I guess so. Not even I can have a dad. No? Oh, wait, you have a dad. No, nah, he, he died like two years before I was born. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're not Erich? Wait, what? No, that doesn't... <laughs> Whoa. That, it's not even possible! <laughs> what the fuck? No, he uh, he jerked off into a jar, and my mom missed him so much that two years later she she grabbed that honey and, and made some <laughs> uh, lemonade, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I don't some know how honey this, lemonade. this sperm survived for two years outside of the body. Well, only if it's frozen or it's super powered. Hmm. Are you a superhero? Yeah, I'm, I'm Captain monkey? Marvel. Why is the movie called <laughs> Captain Marvel when she's never referred to as Captain Marvel and her friend's name is Marvel? <laughs> yeah. Why is it called Captain really Marvel? Retarded. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's just take her friend's name. I guess she she couldn't settle on any name. But even her friend's name is Marvel. It's not Marvel. No, don't you see? Nick Fury had to explain that Marvel is better. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Man, that was so stupid. That's like ten times more stupid than what they did in Solo. It's <laughs> like, mm, no, it's actually Marvel. Mm, it's two words. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> did Florian make Nintendo Labo? <laughs> what the fuck? Did you? I think Nintendo games, I don't think so. Uh. Did Florian make those funny knife game videos that I love so much? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I went to Germany and won a championship. Whoa! Good job. That's how you got all that money. It's surely. Did Florian make Honey Pop? All right, can we stop this joke? <laughs> so, wait, is it a joke? I thought you really made all these games. <laughs> Only GTA V. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real one. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm done. Bye, stream. Thanks for tuning in, folks. All right. Hope you had a keynotastic night. See you, <laughs> Florian. I'll see you uh, soon for the 24-hour stream. Oh, yeah. Hooray. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Can we play I'm coming home? Where's it at? Where are you at? I don't know. I don't know where I saved anything. I don't know where it is. Oh, I actually, I think I deleted it because it was a huge file. Whatever. Bye, everybody!